Yo, what's up YouTube, it's TRS, or oh, The Real Smoky, and today is going to be a compilation of my full playthrough of Fable 2, so uh, if you do enjoy, feel free to leave it a like, if you are new around here, cons if you could consider subscribing, it would help me, and let's just get on with it. What was that? Oh, yuck. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's TRS. Oh, the real smoky here. And today is the start of my playthrough of Fable 2. It's a continuation of the Fable franchise that I am currently doing on this channel. The last video we did finish uh, Fable 1. Uh, so if you haven't seen it already, there will be a link to it in the description. Um, or it will be pinned in the comments for you to go check out if you want to. Hello there, but young Rose. today's episode, we're going to be pretty hungry. much doing the childhood, my offer? Uh, beginning we'll our adventure, the answer is uh, no. doing all the good options because there is be back. there's and benefits to the you. good options. Like, but I'll go into them benefits a in, in the next episode or two. So, pretty much, the whole gist of your childhood is this trader that you're seeing on your screen right now is selling a artifact, a so-called artifact from the uh, old kingdom for five gold, not being aware of what he actually possesses. Very uh, so now, we've just, just got to do various activities uh, to earn the ah, five gold for the said item, which is on the side right there. Box is you can see that it's an old kingdom stuff because it's got symbols that you've seen in the guild in the first game. Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. Hey, did someone just pinch my bottom? We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. <coughs> Most children your age believe okay. eagerly. Mm, sorry about that one. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon, but you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. 
Well, you... You really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have for your five answer. gold coins, we could eat for a week. For five gold coins, we could eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. So, what if for this playthrough, I will be keeping subtitles on because. And maybe this could be a way out which, of here after. After playing the first one, you realise that some of the lines aren't quite understandable. There must be someone around unless you are of British. Uh, if you are from Britain, pretty much. Hello, Derek. So, something? this quest that you pick up from Derek the guard My is arrest lost Blue five what? arrest warrants, warrants which are lingering around so we look out for those warrants. Old Town. But for now, let's find some more and money. you pretty much ask kids to go get it because he's, a, he's a, unable to get it because he's apparently the only guard in town no. at the moment. So we're just going to collect them for him, be the good guys. With uh, this quest that we're at now, uh, Burnham's image capturing device. Uh, pretty much you got a pod for a now picture. All you have to do is st Heavy Sip well. the conversation that he's battled on. My young friend. So I just do a thumbs up because it's just the quickest. Wondrous! This thing's gonna be more popular than that box. So you get gold. You get gold coin for doing that. Easy gold you're making game, just pretty much. Three months for the picture. So we run down here. The but the childhood bully oh, is tormenting a dog. She does it hurt? Uh, hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? <laughs> He hit a girl. He hit a girl. You know, to it another. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. So this is your first taste of combat. The gun does sweet F all because it's quite literally just like an apricot gun. It just like the sweet F air. Stop it! Let me alone, you nutter. So it's your first little taste of combat. Not melee. Did you see that? That lunatic shot me right in the head. Thanks for your help. This is the dog that I'll be weaving throughout the whole playthrough. <laughs> oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. <laughs> oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Pot dogger. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. So you get four good points for doing that. There's your first warrant. Looks like a warrant, doesn't There's it? There's a second warrant. Well, we have our first warrant. Yes, another warrant. You can help the so drunk the guy or you can help his wife. There is another warrant on the floor in the corner. Hey, look at that, Betty. But I'll grab that Two in a sec after I grab this twins. bottle from Magpie. Let's find this Magpie guy. Who just a drunk guy good. sat on a bed. That would look nice on a mantle. You can sit and listen to him if you really want to, but his dialogue's a bit boring. Hey, I'm just going to skip this conversation. Hand over the wine, little sparrow. I don't approve of alcoholism, in all fairness. If you the are to give it on you, weak. but I don't. So I'm going to give it to the woman. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. That I love. So I'm going to pick up this warrant. So that's well, four or five. Next one you can get is life. after the next quest. Only one more warrant left to find. Clearing out this guy's warehouse. And we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. 
So I'm just going to skip the conversation to get in because I've played it before, I know. Go inside, kill, I think, five beetles, I think it is, which gives you the first experience of range combat if you didn't, you know, try to shoot the bully. So that guy's there just pretty much telling you, oh, if you break the stock, he'll give you a gold coin, but I'm going to kill the beetles because, you know, it's just easy, quicker than breaking all the stock in all fairness. Oh, crap. That's and that's. Do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this kid. No, you won't. God, you're getting locked up soon. He don't have full hatred for me, even though I just cost him some profit. That that's that a, was another a gold coin from that guy. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Genius. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in. I'm just going to go down here because I, I know that the dog's the waiting down here with another warrant. That's three gold coins. That's the last that? warrant. Just two more and we can buy I'm going to head up towards uh, Derek. That's all the warrants. We should give him a warrant. The guy does try to stop you, even though you, I don't know how he got here before or just because you don't. There's no other way around. Stop but right don't there, you do to stop you anyway, so you can just... You can just go past him. Let me know if you find the warrants. Have you found them? Yes, I have, Derek. So I'm going to give them to him, get five Thanks. good points. You're a life in all fairness, this is probably going to be now, another normally, threat, a good playthrough because I'm not a big fan of how evil looks in this game. The horns are a bit. I think Mother heard us. The horns are a bit iffy, and if you are corrupt, you know, buying properties, putting the rent at full, you get like it's have a fruit fly or blue bell flies around your head, and it just doesn't look that great. So we're just waiting for the mother to come out. For some reason, she don't want to come out. You there we again. go. I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Even though the mother just like now, not even sure. there, she's Before in the bedroom. Guards, you Get in the house, so the good choice for this okay. quest is giving the letter to Belinda. The bad choice is giving it to the, the mother. Oh, I don't fancy listening to uh, James Gordon. I don't. I'm a British, but I don't. I'm still not a fan of his voice. So I'm gonna knock on the door three or four times, I think. The mother likes to take a time on this quest. You can look through the window to see if she's actually coming, but I don't. Don't think I choose to do that. So I just sit and wait, patient. What you want? Oh, um, we, we've got I'm a just going to run past her. Uh, Doddle upstairs. Go up, Belinda. Oh, well, you tell it's an old, old soul game by the Come name. Because Belinda's not exactly a, well, this is a popular name. So I delivered the letter. I got the gold piece. I'm going to go to the salesman. Hello. We've come Press to buy the box, but the game doesn't register it eh? for some reason straight away. Very wise little ones. Be sure to go somewhere quiet. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. So we go back up here to the very uh, precisely placed uh, box. Uh, put it down. I wish. I wish. Turn the handle three times. We wish to go to Castle Fairfax. Which is a nice castle in the background. Quite a nice cinematic shot. No fairness. But it's glowing red. Which will be something you'll want to pay attention to later because you've seen the red aura. Where did it go? Why are we still here? The magic don't work like that. 
Young Five Rose. gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? Pick up my kids, don't worry about that. You know I'm guilty on some that fell apart. What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. Maybe All we right, wish for the dog. Welcome to our little paradise. So we're just gonna sleep. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. But we get rudely interrupted by the guard, oh, by a guy called all Nick. Right, uh, settle down. There's a nice. Uh, well, subtitles you don't learn the name of these characters. Quiet even though they're sub characters. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, Miss. And he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. He knows that you've got the magic box essentially because of Derek. Because Derek would have seen him and reported it if well, they got ass. Our wish came true. Well, that's a must. Come on, little Sparrow. Wake Easy up. explanation because how else would they know about it? Unless the trader went right, bragging the soul box for Lucian's five gold. Castle. Sell a carrot for five back gold. To you. I promise. So we're just gonna go to Castle Fairfax. Let's go to the castle. Evening, Jeeves. Very generic the butler name. That's everything from Britain. For. Excellent. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'll follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? It's an interesting ah, character, hello, Master Goff. I'm in a very few Mama. words. But if you played the game, you know that he's uh, the grand dining hall? a master of will. Oh, he's from wing, the uh, Lord markings on his arms. Since, since the, that, the will Lady markings Fairfax only actually show one leave. to have mastered an ability. Oh, I, I believe. heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Study. Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? Well, history mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Uh, yes, I yes. I believe Lucian Lord heard Lucian about heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we no, made a yeah. wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord. Speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Amelia. Fairfax or Amelia. The time jump in this game as well, between the here first one and the initial. Between Lord Lucian, are the children in here. In my opinion, 500 years is too long. Should have been 50 years. Children, it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable? is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... <laughs> well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. What's that? 
nothing to worry about. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? Then that red door that you saw with the box earlier. Wait. There was, there was something what, what happened? here. There was... What's that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. Mess the flint lock this time. Most anti dramatic death ever. I can't allow you to live either. I'm sorry. normal person would be dead but they don't have a fortune to them over an ancient bloodline death is not your destiny today little sparrow lucian disappeared from castle fairfax that night certain that those who might stand in his way were dead but some grief is so great even death may keep its distance and so the boys survive Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstown, life slowly returned to his small, broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. You would think with all the length of time she's been alive, she could have given you some better equipment. I know it's the game, it's gonna give you garbage equipment. But timeline wise it would make more sense for it all come up there. Even if it was just the ten years. Going to give you a rusty long sword, a light crossbar and a few bits for your dog and a spade. Because they had to make some adjustments because people didn't really have a spade in the first one. So if you have enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and until next time, I am peace. A now come with me. Open the gate! Good luck! Take this. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards the lake. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the Chamber of Fate. 
When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. Now go. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's TRS, or the real Smoky here, and today we are carrying on my Fable 2 playthrough. In the last episode, you would have seen that we did our childhood, the uh, struggles to make ends meet, essentially, just to be betrayed by uh, Lucian. So, it's now our mission to get revenge on Lucian, whether that'll be through us just straight charging and getting him or the plot of the game. So today's episode we're going to be going into the uh, Chamber of Fate, learning about our heritage to some degree, and then beginning our adventure into the wide open world. Don't be alarmed, I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry, the water at the bottom will break your fall. So these are the first type of enemies that you see in the game, and it is beetles. This is just a basic tutorial, you know, showing you how to melee, range, and use a bit of will towards the end. Which, but I'm not going to be collecting any of the uh, chests or all in here because, in all fairness, the extra bit of time that it takes to go get them is pointless because I think it works out like 50, 60 gold which with what I'll be showing you next episode um, 50 gold is kind of useless in all fairness because there's a chest in the room we've just passed to the left which I know has a rusty mason some more beetles, collecting little bits of XP. I don't like how the whole collecting XP is in this compared to Fable 1. Because you have to stand still, essentially. Um, it's just a pain in the ass, pretty much. Um, but yeah, pretty much how I'll be doing this playthrough is... I will still be upgrading my range and melee weapon but my main focus of damage will be will because as anyone that played this game knows that will is overpowered um especially when you get up there in higher ranks i think rank two fire another week to it but i believe rank two fire can kill knock out the uh, basic column in. Um rank 2 lightning work and I, will, I am saying fire because that's what I'm going to go in with because there is a couple of enemies that resist lightning in this game uh, while not resist uh, fire or inferno as it's called um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to turn that bar off at the top. But yeah, when it comes to weaponry in this game, like I said, I will still be upgrading. Just for the situations where you're not able to get a full cast of magic off, and it's just more beneficial to use the sword. Because obviously you don't buy armor in this game, which I find, I find that as a... Miss opportunity. Beyond um, these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned. And now, it lies forgotten. Your blood is awakening. You 
can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks Colour to use gate it. Of will. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate well, the colors gate. But giving you generic experience. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill, and. So fire Inferno does do less damage than lightning. Stop. But I go over and back earlier. Can you feel Thumped the power coursing through you? Thumped well done. This lightning. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the colors gate. I was seeing, I couldn't remember if it was this one or Fable 3, do you know where you could charge it up past the actual level that you're at? I use your do new believe that's Fable 3. So now I'm just going to use, use the Inferno on the Beatles. Make your way to Bowerstone, I will meet you there. I know there is a way you can jump down this a bit quicker, but I'm not. I can't quite remember the location off the top of my head. So I just. That's why I just ran down. And during this playthrough, you will see a lot of me running through the areas instead of, you know, just cutting from point to point. Because there's something quite. I don't know if it's just me, but there's something quite relaxing about just running through these wide open areas instead of. How the first area was with the segmented areas. They were trying to be bold and ambitious for this game, which some regards it did pay off, but other areas not. Apologies, so much. Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit hectivity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit hag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry, like. You could always take care of Thag yourself. So, the uh, road to Bowerstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp so near Bower Lake. So I don't approve of this bandit's name, uh, because anyone knows what T H stands for. It's an F. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Uh, yeah. Look out! It's I an don't ambush. approve of it. This should be easy. I'm just gonna kill these bandits for a bit of magic. you myself I'll give you three seconds to get ready three. no wait two oh One, sorry two. No! this air hole attack my dog obviously I can't block or roll yet because you will knock themselves by leveling up Well done. I will tell the guards of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen.
So I'm gonna get the key to the cage, let the people out, then kill the bandit, and heal my dog. Because I don't like the sound of a whimpering dog. No one does. Oi, mate! Don't even think about letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Just because you paid for them, it don't mean they should belong to you. So much. I like I said, it last episode, I'm doing a good playthrough. We're free. Free to wander the paths and byways of the land. No master but the wind itself. Time stretched out before us like... I like... What's the word I want, Reg? Reg. I don't know. And it's Regina. Mm -mm. Right, I'm going now. Uh, thanks again. Oh, uh, yes, thanks. You just turned down hard cash. They will never no, forget your kindness. Three, four, five, six. Meet seven, me in Bowerstone eight. Market by the clock tower. There is something you so That guy's see. got what? 100 hit points. So I'm gonna heal my dog now. Obviously, you can't heal your dog during cutscenes, which I find a bit stupid. I know, I know there's a few little bits that like a cave off that size. But I'm not, like I said, in the chamber. A lot of this satin stuff don't really go for anything, and money, in all fairness, you don't use it probably too much in this game. Obviously, you can get money to buy properties that gives you more money to, to pretty much buy potions. Uh, but money is not the hardest. Money's harder to get in this game than it is in the original Fable. But it's still not difficult. So I'm going to be heading to Bower soon. The hero of Bower Lake. I'm a bard, see? And that's the song I'm working on. It's, uh, well, it's my first one. I'm just starting out. Listen to this. A hero went to Bower Lake and gave the tag a belly ache. <laughs> That's all I've got so far, but maybe if I walk round Bowerstone with you, I'll get some inspiration. Thank you for your testimony. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. But you'll need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. Town so, square, the in the normal playthrough, this is be like, oh, go do work to Goes here, isn't it? go do yeah. some work to get some better equipment that you can buy, etc. But I'm not gonna do that. So I will be back with you when. Teresa is here. So, Teresa, uh, for some reason, had, because I was stood there when she first the fawn in, her trigger point moved. I apologise for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments? How many memories? Fag and his men, they had just as many. And now they have none, because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? You will get used to the burden, as all heroes must. Come. The world is better off without Fag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Look, that is where Lucian is now. 
the tattered spire. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments, its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is... Damages. You must find the pilgrim, the mage and the thief before Lucian does. So I skipped the conversation because it... Pretty much it says that you gotta find a hero of three and you're the fourth, the one to unite all the people. Uh, I'm not gonna say who the heroes are obviously because we'll meet them as we see them. But I'm just gonna go to Old Town right now. Well hello again! It's you! Wow, you've changed since you were last running around this place. <laughs> but I recognise what's in those eyes. Goodness. Decency. Respect for the law. After you gave me those arrest warrants, I broke up Nicky the Nickname's whole crew, and Lord Lucian made me sheriff. Of course, then he disappeared. But crime is way down, and urban renewal has transformed this neighbourhood into the most desirable district in Bowerstone. Fantastic, isn't it? As a good friend of the sheriff, You'll find the shopkeepers here will give you a discount on all goods and services. Of course, the same discount extends to that sister of yours, should she be in town. Well, I won't take any more of your time. Now, stay out of trouble, won't you? So, if you have enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new around here, and until next time, peace. Yo, what's up YouTube, it's TRS. Oh, the real smoky here, and in today's video, we're carrying on my Fable 2, my Fable 2 playthrough, and today I'm going to be showing you the gold, the trick that I used to get gold at the start of the game. Obviously, during the childhood, I handed the warrants to uh, Derek. So I get a 50% discount at all the shops in town. So what you do is you buy them here. And then you travel back to Bowerstone. As long as there isn't a sale on. You can sell them to Blacksmith. And make a profit. Obviously at the start of the game it's not the biggest profit. Because you don't have much money. So it takes a few trips. But once you get more renown in the game, the weapons at stars actually become better. And this discount never goes away. So that's why I'm just showing you it a few times. This will be my main method of making gold at the moment. Just so I can buy like you. potions. Oh, well, I can take a little off the price. And um, yeah, because with potions comes XP and... Also, you, you use them to heal yourself. So, much, it's so really they're like worth it. two benefits for one. There is one thing that I forget to do during this drill, because obviously you can buy the potions at half price as well, which then you can sell them at full price, like the um, revive fa uh, files. You can buy them from the mid shopkeeper next to the weapon trader. What would you like today? And they're like 600 profit at the time. 
but they're not needed in this game, because obviously you can't die in this game. You just lose a little XP. So I'll be doing this till the shop's empty. Once the shop is empty, when you go back to Bowers on Market, you sleep for a a week, I think it is, in the uh, well, since it's you, I think I in the pub. You a special discount. Wait, then we s this guy's stocky, then replenish. Dear, but good. Um. So yeah, this just goes on for the first couple of minutes of this. Um. That's why it pays to be good sometimes on these games. Ironically, they say. So at 1280 gold, I started with 500 and something. But this is what I mean by you go up here, you sleep. Sleep in this bed, you can sleep in any bed. Sleeping for 12 hours because the shops are shut. The shops are open from like 8, 8, at 6 a.m. till... 6 till 8, I think, in game. I'm not only pretend to know what time they shut. But it's 6 a.m. in game now, so it'll take me an hour to get to the old town anyway. So the vendor will be there at his shop. And that's pretty much the gist of it, to be fair. Buy heat, buy cheap, sell for profit. Fair for you. That's dear. As you can see, as you bought them last two weapons. So I'm gonna go back to market one last time. Really worth it. Obviously, the method in Fable Anniversary, Fable One, is quicker and easier because you don't have to go from point A to point B back to a point A. You can just do it all in one location but as you can see I'm up to 1759. So if I wanted to buy uh, the steel longsword I'd have to do it again. So I'm just looking, going back to the market in Old Town now. I'm going to proceed with the quest. To find the uh, I bet. Cause it is where I reckon recognize really that the uh, the healer is a person person here, so that's why I was like, huh. Remember, so I'm just gonna buy a couple of potions to show about some Pleasure. health potions. Excellent choice. I'll leave the revived no uh, file. And you, there's a silver key in this house, which you. There's no one lives in this house, or no one's actively in the house, so I'm gonna have to break in and do a bit of evil shenanigans. So that's why I look through the mirror, uh, through the window. I turn the safety on. The guy that came out of the cemetery road saw me. I didn't think he would. So you get five evil for each door. Which doesn't seem that bad. So I searched this cabinet because I thought, oh, it might have some of But it has flowers. The crime for breaking Double two dogs, well, one dog to the zip because you don't get caught for the second one. Thank you kindly. You're free to go. So I have to do the same again for one more house. So I just wait for the guards. I'm taking Pay you fine. Custody. And then I go upstairs. That's your fine paid, but don't do it again. Because you don't get done for trespassing if there's a person in the house. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, oh dear.
Um, I can't recall what's in the chair. So, so water down will XP poison, so I'm just gonna drink it, get a little XP. The garden on me, so it's all good. So I'm just gonna run through to Rock Ridge. If you played this game before, you know what's coming up. I've got a good deal with um, some bandits. There, there is a chest there, but they don't. It's not a decent chest. So I just pick up this gold there because you might as well. It's there already. And pick up some chocolate. What you get there? Ooh, that's nice. That is. So I'm just gonna keep running through Rock Ridge. I like this area. It's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice looking. Wait, bandits. If you're looking, charge them and you'll be outnumbered. Why not dispatch them from here with your crossbow? Remember, you can spend experience on skill to improve your marksmanship. So, the, I couldn't hit them from the ground level with my magic, like I said in the last episode. I'm going to be prioritising magic in this playthrough. I'll still upgrade my melee and range weapons, but it'll be predominantly um, magic. So at the moment, it'll be Inferno. At the moment, I've only got level level one. Since I'm up here, I opened this chest. I remember there was some gold in it. So I can't break down that door. I'm gonna try because it's helps later quest but let's say you can't break it down. I belong here because I know there's a little key on here. There's some stuff I remember vaguely from this game. Taking a couple of hits to eat the beef jerky that I've got. Uh, there's another chest here that I'm often. The dog's a little slow at letting you know when chess and stuff are here. So I get a book for the dog. So if I knock an enemy down on ground, you can finish him off now, I think. Remember your crossbow. This can be over before they know it. Nah, I can use that. I ain't using my crossbow. Because you can't see where the gi giant fireballs are coming from. There we go, that's level 2 reward. Now that's use great. the knowledge you have gained so far. So that'll be a bit better. I'll be looking at how much it was to increase my, my uh, hit points there. The dig spot, and then there's obviously this chest. The demon doors I don't know how to do at the moment, so I'll come back to them later on because I think they can have some decent weapons in, but I don't think I'm able to do any anyway. So 
a bit of gold and digging up. I'm going to teach that, that book to me dog. Now I'm going to carry on. Is where the broken bridge is. Oh look, another traveler. I just dive down because I can't be bothered listening to the uh, pointless dialogue of the bandits. I'm just gonna go to this cave, which is this version of this game's Why version of the hot game. So I'll get to test out my new level two spell in here. Oh, look at you. No, wait, don't go. Oh, you're back. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, it's lucky you happened by. I, I didn't dare come in by myself. You see, yeah. Uh, well, I probably should have mentioned this, but uh, there might be one or two hobs in here. I'd always heard the stories, you know, that hobs carry off children and and turn them into more hobs. The hobs design looks better in this game than it does in previous one. Like I'm a far brutal oh, style, but disgusting. I'm looking for toughness. But that couldn't be. That health bar I mean, is that, really that tiny. Have been children, could they? Um, do you think this is safe? Dog back is for a dig spot, but I'm not going back for it. So I'm just gonna carry on through the cave. That's Joey. I can hear him. I'm coming, son. I mess up here because the hop, the hub spawn when you walk up. You don't have to break the crate. Obviously, when you kill the leader, they start running frantic. They start running around wildly. Horse push. Now so I have a quick look to see if I can afford toughness, to because it doesn't always show it when you can afford more than one. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far. In this game strength is bloop, which it won't bloom in previous one. So you have to stand on that trigger point to at least activate the dialogue. I think you can just very conveniently to the side entrance. That's my boy. Imagine you can't break this with but you can head for it. I was too late. Uh, it was I turned my son into there's plenty of hobs here, there's plenty of XP. I need like 12,500 for the next level of Inferno. You should get out of there. Head for the surface, quickly. Thanks, Teresa, I didn't think of that. One of them jumped to the death. I can now afford toughness. I do need to upgrade the sock because that's now too use many the knowledge you have gained so far. To improve my toughness and so my health will double. It adds a hundred percent of what you've got. Don't know if I can't remember if it's multiplicable. So if the next one hundred the next level up adds hundred percent of what I've got now or hundred percent of my SATA health. I can't remember. But we'll find out when I next upgrade it. But this is why magic is better. The vortex.
So that's why I do keep using my sword every now and again, you know, to try and get some um, strength XP. You don't get much at these early levels. So I, I knew there were chests down here, so that's why I doddled down this X a little bit here. It's a two second run. And it's a health potion, which obviously gives you a little bit of XP, like I said earlier. One, another group of hogs. I was waiting for more of them to run in, but apparently they didn't want to, so... My dogs just don't bother about treasure, they know what else. Boom. Speed. I can now afford some speed. There is a little bit of XP trickling off the side as you saw that. Skill person. 619. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far. I don't want to upgrade my extra skill, but skill and that, that will. at a certain Dextra point styles. you Unlock special moves start getting the gargoyles that taunt you and some of them have a bit of prerogative um, dialogue. The stronger your physique, the more damage you will cause. Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. I'm just gonna quickly run my way back around. And that's the cave to get out. Or the ladder to get out, so I say. So, just because these bandits are annoying, I'm just gonna kill them. I take him up on the threat there and I proceed to stab him a few times. Look. I can fod physique. I was just I'm really bad at, you know, that's if I ain't got it written down, I'm really bad at it. keep looking at that stuff. So. We'll get to a point where I'll have a lot of money and I can just buy the XP from the traded in Fairfax Garden. I couldn't remember if I wrote down here, so I just ran down here. And it's a dig spot. For when you get a higher dog. But I can't remember if it were a dig spot or actual treasure. So I'm just going to continue to proceed up the road. Take the right hand turn because I don't fancy going to the uh, Temple of Scorn right now. So I'm now in Oakfield. Which I believe is an upgraded version of Oak. Veil, I could be wrong with thinking that. So since I'm here, I'm going to do this dig spot, which I believe is gold. 200 gold this sign road. These bandits have got to find better riding spots. So there's the town sheriff. Wood cutting for a job. I ain't touched any of the jobs. So I just pause it to see how far I've got to run. There's a nice big area. This the sand goose. One name for bar. Oakfield is among the lushest regions of Albion. It owes its fertility to the extraordinary golden oak, which lives for only a few decades before producing a single golden acorn. The monks of the Temple of Light replant this acorn, and as the tree is reborn, so are all the lands and farms around. 
The abbot is quite nervous about this year's ritual. See what you can find out. So, can't remember if we're all in this area, so I just thought I'd run up here. Had a quick glance, saw the chest on the right hand side. So, at this point, I'm just assuming it's gonna be gold. Thanks, dog. It's not like I couldn't see it. 200. I found more gold from digging up when I did that chest. You can tell it's early game. So I'm just gonna run up to the temple light. Father, the sacred texts clearly say that only two monks may enter the cave, no one else. Ahem. Ah, hello there, my child. I wonder... Brothers, leave us. Let me take a look at you for a moment. Haven. Armed. Quite imposing. But I can't send just anyone in there. Ah, quite impressive, but... Uh, no, I think not. You look imposing, all right, but I can't entrust our community's survival to a complete stranger. Perhaps if you built up a reputation, I'd be more inclined to trust you. Yes. Rookridge has been having a horrible time with bandits lately. Why don't you go to the tavern and see if you can do anything about them? That would be a good start. The blessing must go forward if you're to find the pilgrim. You must gain the abbot's favor. Perhaps you can find a way to impress him in the town. Use your map to see where quests and jobs are. So if you have enjoyed today's video, Use your map to see where quests are. Feel free are. to leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time. Peace. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's TRS. Or the real Smoky here. And today. We are carrying on. My Fable 2 playthrough. In the last episode. I just reached the Abbot. And in. So I've got to earn a little bit of renown to be able to complete, well, to continue the mainline quest. So, to get that done, I pretty much just need to do one, one quest in Rock Ridge, and then a little bit of trophy renown farming, which is, was that slightly quick? Let's see what's a little bit quicker than doing another quest. But I do know later on in game, I think the final renewal check mark is 20,000, I think. It's either 12 or 20, I know it's one of the two. Oh dear, oh dear. How could this happen? Damn. So you'll get rid of all the. So I'm just going to go to the menu, go in the quest and just fast travel there. This quest is pretty straightforward. You're pretty much chasing a bandit through Rockridge. As you can see, I pull up the map just to get a good idea on where I need to go. One thing that this game does have over its predecessor. And that's a map. So, because I'm using magic, I can't get close enough to be able to kill him. Well, defeat him, should I say. So they did manage to get ahead, so they've alerted the rest of the bandits. But, that's not sweat. Bandits that sound like they've been smoking 20 a day. Kill a bandit, face the 
Saying fight like a man because you can't learn the ability to use your magic. I know to get the next level of magic, it's you think you're gonna catch me? Why do you think twelve and a half thousand? I think. Stupid! How could I run the guard before I was at a nappies? What chance have you got? Because I'm a hero, Diaz. So there's like six bandits here. Turn camera, because camera controls in this game are a lot better than the war. And prior ones. Oh well. More gold. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because it's really loud in my ears. So I'm just gonna open this chest. And I get a health potion and some dog treats. So I used the health potion straight away. I'm gonna grab this silver key that's here. I don't know where many more of the silver keys are and I think I'm at a whopping five, I think. So that one's fifteen which I thought me searching it it might tell me how many I've got without me having to go in my inventory, but sadly that is not the case. So yeah, like I was saying, to get level 3 of fire, it's 12,500 experience, which You're I'll get in no time. time. I'm already up to 3,000 XP for Will. So, I'll get the extra bit in no time. Don't even bother coming after me. I'm the fastest man in Albion. I can't see him. I never miss a Hobbit adventurer. So level 2 is more than enough to take these guys out, it's just taking 2 off right? Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I know I could open the gate, but I choose not to, so I'm just going to... I can give a nubby. Get lost, you damn dog! Go chase a chain of sausages, you vicious man! Tried it in him with fire, but it wouldn't let me eat him from, like, back there. So I just go slightly well closer. Done. Your actions continue to shape the world. A hundred gold, a bandit bandana, a bandit shirt, bandit trousers. The bandit stuff doesn't look bad, it's just got a negative effect on the community. So I need to return to the pub where I picked the quest up. Don't know why I start running it thinking I can I'll run all the way back, but that's just time consuming so I may as well fast travel. Take the load screen, because I'm gonna get the load screen anyway for if I walked back. Ah the hero returns! A stupendous success! Jolly well done! Of course, turns out those deeds weren't entirely genuine, so the toll thing isn't going to work out quite as planified. Still, at least it's not me who has to rebuild the bridge now. Okay, so I might be broke, but I'll bounce back. Always do. Anyway, here's my trusty Thessaurus, as promised. You never know when you'll be caught in a lexicological quandary. Thanks to you, the way to Bowerstone is now open again. So I need 99 more new. So I thought, I might as well use my trophy. You're almost famous enough. A few people are whispering of your deeds, but that's not quite enough. 
Let's see what this is about. Because you can see it's slowly trickling down. With a few more deeds like that, the abbot will have no choice but to accept you as the escort. Could be something good. We'll see. You've almost Based done it. I'm sure a little more now. I noticed that it was slowing down, so. Nothing new then. Brilliant Yippee! stuff. Amazing. How do you do it? Sure. So I didn't earn any on that one, so I just bought. A few people I'll go run into deeds, here where the more people eat, and I'll do enough. it again. Do you remember that? With a few more deeds like that, the abbot will have no choice but to accept you as the escort. Three more, and this should be enough. Should be very proud. I need one more. So I'll just go here and hit shopkeeper and get the last one I need. You've almost done it. I'm sure a little more renown will do the trick. You've done it. Almost everyone in Oakfield has heard of you. Now you can go back to the abbot. So I just thought instead of running back, I'll just fast travel back because yet again it's so quick. I didn't didn't need to really do this that much in the first game because areas weren't as big. The shops are now closing. It's you. I prayed for your return. I heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to us. Come, walk with me a while. I could skip the combo, but I'm not going to. Now, nourishing the golden acorn is done with holy water from the wellspring of light. But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave, the strongest and a second of the abbot's choosing. Obviously, this concerns me, especially since the strongest monk here is my own child. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. And that's you, if you're interested. The cave is just at the end of this road. You probably passed it on your way here. Our strongest monk will be waiting for you when you're... I'll get the job done, don't worry. Our first hero awaits us, even if they do not yet realize it. Ah, I got the good old hammer. So real, I paused it and had a look to see where it was on the map because I couldn't quite remember off the top of my head. So I decided not to teleport anywhere because it doesn't actually get you anywhere closer to it. See, he fears me because he saved his life. Twisted heart leaves, two branches to breathe out. A cold winter Isn't that breeze. Come here? Ah, I knew my lovely singing voice would bring the crowds. So you're my escort then? My father said you'd be coming by. Hey there, boy. Hello. Oh, you're a strong, handsome fellow, aren't you? I feel better having you with me in that cave. Yes, I will. I'm Sister Hannah. Some people call me Hammer when they think they're being clever. They're not. But I can't do much about it because monks make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Did my father nope. mention that? Yeah. Whatever fighting's to be done in there, it's all yours. We require a hero, not a pacifist monk. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. You get all the excitement and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. I mean, look enormous. at it. It's enormous. 
Golden or not, how much water does a bloody acorn need? After you. So now it's time to enter the Wellsprings cave to get this quest underway. It's amazing when you think about it. No one else has been in here for maybe a hundred years. Well, no monks anyway. I guess an adventurer or two could have come in, but if they got out alive, I didn't hear about it. Look up there. They're lovely. Wisp of the dead. I think they're called wisps. Souls of the dead who never left this world. It's actually rather sad, isn't it? And this is where fire comes in handy because it is strong against the undead. Watch your step, Dobby. Looks a bit steep here. Do you reckon we'll run into anything nasty in here? I mean, a dark, creepy cave is a hell of a place for a holy spring. Especially for an order of pacifists. You know, I've heard of monks in the north who believe that to transcend violence, you have to understand it first. All right, this should be the central chamber. Wow, I've never seen anything like this, ever. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight on the pressure plates will open the doors. This one's the first. There we go. Pretty much this is just, at the, the point where I am now, this quest has been boring so far. You pretty much no, got to ensure that in you don't get hit by hollow men, essentially. It'll take both of us to get the water flowing. And the AI in this quest isn't exactly the smartest either, I will say that. I stand here so I can catch it. And you need to stand on that one. Thank you for the over explanation and stuff when I'm already stood on it and the water is active. Right, there it goes. Oh yeah, I can feel this thing getting even heavier. A power up, a fireball, nice can I can't remember if, so far, this if they attack bad. you at this point or not. A couple of steep bits, but that's it. So I just fling it. I really hope they find someone else to do this next time. Well, no you, point I'll keeping it charged up. By then, so I'm probably off the hook. You know, this is probably going to be the highlight of my life. The day I carried a jug through a cave. Hardly epic poem stuff, is it? Did you hear something? No. There is a silver key probably behind this platform, but I forget to pick it up. Because I, uh, when I was playing, I really didn't realise it, but now that I'm watching, watching this back and doing this voiceover, I notice it. So I might come... I'll come back to this key at a later point. Hollow man. Like I said, fire is, fire is strong against hollow men, so one level two erase them. Those things didn't stand a chance. 
Have you ever fought them before? Sure looked like you had. That or you're a very fast I'm learner. Just a fast learner, Hammer. I don't see any wisps now. And no Hollowmen followed us. Guess we're safe in here. And this is where I noticed the AI was not the smartest. So I stand up here preemptively waiting for it to come through. Because that boy is too slow. I know she's carrying a jug, but Jesus. Because she decides to take a walk up here instead of going to where she's supposed to stand. I have you along with me. What if you weren't here? How in the world would two defenseless monks get through this place alive? That doesn't make any sense. I'd give anything to be free of this stupid vow. Promising? So, well, it's a good thing you're here anyway. Let's just get on with it. So I quite literally have to guide the AI there. So she can stand on it just so I can go back up here. Right. Because Here's it's stupid one. in my opinion. I'll stand by the fountain to catch the water, same as before. So I know hollow men do spawn in this room. Ah, oh, brilliant. Just have to wait until this thing stops running. You'd think they would have made this jug with a flat bottom in case you want to have a rest. But as it is, it would just tip over, and then where would we be? Oh, bugger, here they come! So the target you need a bit. Good, just keep willing them away. Whatever that's called. Targeting can be a bit finicky at times with the magic. Keep using wheel like that. But yeah, because these are the trouble. smaller ones, they don't take as much, so that's why I'm able to just use the normal fireballs, I think. So obviously four spawn of three or four. And it takes two level one spells, I think. Keep this up and we'll be through here in no time. You've got to wait for the game to register that the spawn is. It's at 90%. This is the last wave of hollow men for this door. But I don't mind fighting the hollow men because it's easy XP at the end of the day. Well, that's basic math there, Hammer. Well done. Three takeaway two leaves one. Are you ready for whatever that was? As you can tell, I'm quite impatient. Hey, come back. Who knows what's on the other side? You think he's all right? Okay. I'm getting worried now. He don't does come back. Come back with a skull of a hollow man. What you got there? Oh, that is disgusting. Good dog. Oh no, but you're a good dog for attacking him. Who's a good boy? Who tears the heads off hollow men? So I decided to give it a treat because it's been a good spot. Is it you? Is it you, boy? Quite a companion you've got. Remind me not to let him lick me again. <laughs> Shall we? Right, so we've got one more room to go through and then we should be finished. Don't get too far ahead, though. I don't know what made that noise and I'm not keen to find out. So the game quite literally forces you to slow down when you get too far away from it. Like 
Pretty much this is just me sitting in the middle of this room and spamming my will. When the game registers that I want to hit. So I did pop a health for the Nega, I noticed my health was getting a little low. And there's the boss. I almost died, so I used the person to go back to full health. Wow, that was amazing. That is You've more than likely the hardest boss in the game. Which is a sad oh, thing really about this one. Well, for several moments. I thank you. You were brilliant. On we go then. So we're just coming up to the final room. This we're hoping that our AI would actually room. go to the podium. Should be nearly done now. I know I said but that before, but hopefully this time it's actually clear. Were right this I time. think that's the last plate over there. Lords of light, bless this water, that with it we may give rise to new life once more. As new life rises, so shall we. The monk is broken the roll here. Sister Hannah. Brother Robin? What is it? It's your father. One of Lucian's men. He's holding him hostage at the temple. He's got a gun. I have to save my father. Go on, Hammer. <sighs> Kick his ass. Come on. We have to get to the temple. One of Lucian's agents has come to the temple. Go after her. So you'll notice that I do make another mistake here. Because... The, I believe it's a silver key. So that's two silver keys I'm missing in this way. There's treasure to the right hand side. But before I realised that, I jumped down. So I'll have to go back through the Wellsprings cave later on to get the two silver keys. Father, are you okay? He's one if of I need them. Men. You're coming with me, or he does. Like the hell I am. You let him go before I break you in half! No! It's amazing he doesn't let you sprint at full speed because Hannah needs to uh Don't make me kill all these guys. Oh. She's durable as well, she took a shot for that. Just for the habit to pass away. Father! I could have stopped him! You idiot! You stupid fool! I could have stopped him before he... <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. Not that I broke my vow. I'm sorry I didn't break it sooner. I never did fit in at this place. We both knew that. And now I'm making a new vow. Lucian would die for what he did to you. I won't break this one. Sister Hannah, the blessing. You do it. 
As new life rises, so shall we. As the seed returns to the earth, so do we all. Is that it then? My father's gone. The golden oak is flourishing again. So now life just goes on as before, does it? And they can plead. The other monks may believe that, but your eyes have been opened. Where did you come from? Who are you? Someone who can tell you much about Lucian. Where he is, what his plans are, and how you can gain your revenge. If you oh, will yeah. listen. I want to know everything. Then come with me, Sister Hannah. Call me Hammer. I've taken Hammer to the guild. You've done well, hero. You have gathered the first of the three heroes, and we are one step closer to defeating Lucian's plans. It will take some time for Hammer to overcome her grief and longer to explain her role in Lucian's downfall. Perhaps this would be a good time to upgrade your equipment. I believe there is a sale in Bowerstone. It may well be worth a visit. Come back to the guild when you are ready. So, if you have enjoyed today's episode, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and until next time, peace! Yo, what's up YouTube, it's TRS, or oh, the real smoky here, and today we are carrying on my Fable 2 playthrough. Today's episode is a longer one, you'll see why, and you'll see by the title, it's called Painful Experience. There you are. I believe the second of our heroes, the mage, is in Brightwood. There is a powerful will user there, called Garth. Do you remember that name? He was there the night Lucian killed Rose. You didn't tell me that. How are we supposed to trust him? Garth believed Lucian's interest in the Old Kingdom was purely academic, like his own. And Lucian, for his part, thought Garth was merely a brilliant scholar. When each learned the truth about the other, their partnership ended. Violently. You will find Garth in Brightwood Tower. I have seen a vision of him toiling on some ancient technology there. Surely he intends to stop Lucian, but he cannot do so without help. Go and inform him of our intent. Hammer, you should remain here. I'm ready. So I am going to a new area called Brightwood to go to go and meet and inform Garth of the intentions of myself, Teresa, Hammer and Lucian uh, and then obviously try to recruit him. But, yeah, the game has a difficulty spike, so I'm just kind of experiencing it in this episode. People say this game is easy. It is easy, because obviously you don't have no... Uh, you don't have no death. Consequences, you lose a little experience if you die. And obviously, because I heard that gunshot, I turned round and saw that there was some bandits. So I thought, easy XP. Because obviously, I'm going to need it because getting to a point where my life is not big enough. Obviously, in last, I think it was last episode, I did upgrade my equipment. That's something I don't like about the game is obviously when you are fighting 
creatures, whether it's beetles, hollow men, bandits, so on and so forth, and there's an NPC there. The NPC starts to hate you, even though you're defending them or helping them. So this is my first silver key chest, I believe. I'm not sure how many silver keys I have at this point. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I'm just picking them up as I'm coming across them, if I notice them. And at last episode, I didn't. I'm sure I, can I look you. at all the shopkeepers and stuff, you know, to see if we've got potions to buy, obviously, because I don't want to. I don't really want to die in this. But certain outcomes are inevitable. These sort of games, you always die at some point or another. Um, so now I'm in Brightwood. Nice looking area. It's a huge area. Someone or something is coming your way. I have never felt anything like it. Surprising that he just keeps the door unlocked and Hobbs, Hobbs are in the garden for some reason. I hate the targeting system sometimes. So what, 8,000 will experience obviously. Experience is slow when you don't have um, augments. Uh, I believe you can get, is it mana, health, and experience augment? And I know there's a, a few more, but some I don't really play around with during this playthrough. The Spire! An <laughs> ancient sad from the old kingdom. So Lucian has got some control over some stuff due to the spire. Remember, Lucian's men are attacking. You must save God. And this is when I learn I'm undecided. So these guys hit longer to kill than all our birds so far. So when they gang up on, if they gang up on me, they're gonna hurt. So I see if I can target them from bottom of the edge, but I can't at this point. I've been cooped up in that spire too long. So obviously level two will not doing it. Three attacks there. Four. Four level two and a lot of strength. But I'm severely underpowered at this point. In all fairness. And obviously at this point I can't flourish yet because I haven't bought that upgrade. That would be helpful at this point. Nobody kills a soldier Your head will make a great trophy. I didn't realise that there were an explosive barrel there when I did that. And these posts the potions that I'm using. Ah really health potions or XP potions but at the time of me recording this I didn't really notice that now that I'm doing the voice over I'm seeing it so I can afford toughness only 22% XP gain
No, but the, the weapons I have right now are good at the greatest evil. So there's four guys. I'm like, yep, let's get out close quarters. I'm not fighting them with what I've got where they are. They're just. Didn't just five of them? Yeah. Can you see that? Two hits to take me half health. This was the point of realization. To the most utmost. I can't even block at this point either. Though. Death is not your destiny. Boom, boss push. There always has to be one who comes back from the dead. And there's the second one. These guys hurt uh, where I am started at the moment. Because they're quite strategic as well, apparently. I like to get behind you. So my dog does need healing. I press the wrong bumper because left bumper makes you zoom in. Right bumper brings up your remote, your remote wheel. So I got to look to see how many potions I've got left and I use one. And this is where I realised, oh, they're giving XP. So I think now's a good time to... Upgrade, but I don't recall if I do or not. Yeah, there's the toughness upgrades. I've got double the life now. Yeah, I can block now. It's when realization hits you, it hits you in games like this. Yeah, I thought I, I, I thought I had the ability to flourish, but. I don't, that's the next level. It's been a while since I've played through this game. So you can see that the ancient side is still there to the right. It's burning down the tower. I'm never going back there. You hear me? You're wrong! You think I'm scared of you? You're a prick. Lucian's failed experiment. Nothing more. You left too soon, Gar. Lord Lucian's experiment was a radical success. See, that's you a kick in the teeth right there. A will user getting their ass handed to him by lightning. It's like... There was nothing you could do. That was Lucian's commandant, and apparently he now controls a shard, an old kingdom weapon of great power. Lucian's strength grows ever more formidable, as does his mastery of the spire and its awful machinery. Come back to the guild. That, I 
couldn't remember if I opened the chest or not at the bottom of these sides. I couldn't remember. So I saw that I did it, so I'm just gonna teleport back. Sounds like you could have used my help after all. I knew I should have come. We cannot allow Lucian to keep Garth. You must get him out of there. There being the spire? We don't even know what's inside that thing, much less how to get there. There is one who might know. When Lucian left for the spire, he essentially abandoned his staff. His old butler, Jeeves, now spends his days at the Cowan Courses. His butler? I bet he saw his fair share of dirty dealings. Well, if it means a trip to the pub, we just have to make that sacrifice. The task requires tact and delicacy, something I believe you're unfamiliar with, Hannah. Theresa pretty much just called Why is Hammer a brute. This is the part where you say <laughs> no offence? <laughs> Looks like you're on your own again. There is no time to waste. Go now. So I've got to go to Bower, son. So I was just having a quick look at the other quest because I know there is a Rignon um, checkpoint coming up. And that Rignon checkpoint will be tomorrow, uh, will be Friday's episode. Friday the 22nd. So at this point I did go to get a drink, so that's why I'm so chill. Cause I, I was like, how am I gonna go about this? Cause I know what's coming up, and and when these people like to plan certain, I don't plan the videos out, but I plan the uh, actions in the game that when I come to certain enemies. And you'll see in a minute, or oh, a few, after I listen oh, to Jeeves. Oh, a thousand, I could buy a house and... I see you. Well, well, well. Another offer. Dear me. So many inquisitive minds. So many who wish to know all Lucian's dirty little secrets. Well, everything you want to know is all written down. And I know well. And here's something else that's written down. My price. Don't let anyone else see it. So a thousand gold really ain't much. It's my I final can get that on one item Take anything. it or leave it. Lucian's diary is a riveting read, I assure you. I'm sure some private collector will make a nice place for it in his equally private home. Now unless you've got a proposition, I suggest you leave me to my whiskey. You have the money? My thanks. It's a juicy little collection. I assure you, you won't regret it. Regret it. No, it was just the wind blowing the window open. I buried Lucian's diary for safekeeping. This is the map to its location. Because obviously the weather in the UK I where I am is myself. not the uh, <laughs> greatest at this point. <laughs> Wet and miserable, you can tell it's the back end of September. He's far too cowardly to double cross you. The map will lead you to the diaries. So, the diary does lead you to near the gypsy camp. I don't know why it wanted me to come to the lake area when it had been easier to move from. Well, it's been quicker and more efficient to move from the gypsy camp. Of course with the audio changing, I knew some were gonna attack me. It's some bandits, but obviously like I said earlier in this episode, I need the XP.
so I might I will I'll do some XP farming essentially off of camera because I know how to do it there's multiple ways you can do it you can farm gold which will probably be the way I'll do it is farm gold to get a decent amount obviously I'm at 21,000 right now I can make that 21,000 into a lot more and make it into anything and then go to Fairfax Gardens and buy the potions from the four vendors that appear there so obviously you can have different vendors appear in uh, Fairfax Gardens you can have clothing, accessories and uh, yeah, clothing, accessories, gift, heavy, light and potion so it takes time but obviously you can see my weapons and shit aren't quite right, effective right now because I know you got to aim at the bits on the troll which you can see better when I'm using my flames but obviously you can see taking a few hits it's the great one with have a spell or range you don't come up against many trolls in this game actually there's what one is here do you verse any in this game's arena? I can't call. Um, it's hard to hit him with powered up magic because obviously he likes to flail his arms around. So I think it'll. I'll, I should have really sick my weaponry and I ran into that like an idiot, but obviously. See, it's not doing a whole lot of damage. So the last two are on his arms, I believe. So I need a left forearm. So I've got to run to the left, make sure I'm not to get hit by his attacks. And as I say that, I get hit by one. I do charge up a spell and I finally hit it, but it still doesn't kill it. And I don't know where that one went. If I get... What is it, that? I think it's a thousand XP you get for killing the troll. Which I know ain't a whole lot in hindsight, essentially, on this game. So I've got Lucian's diary now. The book is filled with strange writing that you can't read. So take it to your blind fortune teller and get them to read good it. Work. But it will do so you the book must have been in braille. Bring it back to the guild. So I could run up the hill and go back or I'll go just teleport. So I think, yeah, I'll just teleport because it'll be quicker. Welcome back. I trust finding the diary was not too difficult. Now, bring it to me. I will translate it for you. So you've got to press an old A to get it, so why can't you just tap it? You can read that, but your eyes are, you know. I see other worlds than this one. And in other worlds you can see. I don't understand. Westcliff. Lucian is recruiting guards from Westcliff. Oh, come on. Westcliff's a dump. Full yeah, of the henchmen. Thugs. The only thing there is that arena. The Crucible. Those who win it are physically tough and mentally weak. 
Lucian is recruiting the winners as guards. You must enter the crucible in Westcliff and emerge from it victorious. It is the only way into the spire, the only way to get to Gar and rescue him. At last, some action. Meet you by the so far, well, oh, this will be a quick journey towards the, uh, the crucible. Um, as you can see by the length of the video, how wrong was I? I thought, oh yeah, it'd be a quick, you know, 10, 10 minute journey. Because I know this game has big, luscious areas. I do, I do believe I, I don't know what my dog was barking at, so I don't, I don't follow it up, so I just, I'm gonna run around. Use the audio cues of this game. There's a random guy just stood in the middle of the road. There were a gunshot. I see him coming over the hills. Ever wonder what police brutality is like? You're the random guards are there to help you with stuff like this if you are struggling or underpowered. It's against hobbies, not really. But as you can see, I'm not even killing hobs in a couple of hits. It's quite bad at this point. There's a random trader that popped up out of nowhere. So, after playing Fable 1, I thought, is there a Silver King in there? Because I know, as you all know, if I'm playing uh, Fable Anniversary, they keep Silver King in one of them. So I thought, is there one there? There's Demon Dark at right, but I don't bother with any Demon Dark in this playthrough. Uh, the load of them are what mediocre. And there's Hammer. What, did you get a job? Buy a house? I've been here for ages. Right, let's go. Oh, you're going somewhere. Yeah, she said let's go and oh are you going somewhere? The bandit car. So load of bandits. Lucian's writings are fascinating. There is much in them that may interest you when you have time. For now, press on to Westcliff. The bandits quite literally come out bloody everywhere in here. Me, I prefer the idea of these rats. Here we go. But Hammer is, uh, they might be the hero of strength. The star of hell is the hero of speed. I think mom mobile, uh, elderly folk. So two, three, again, again. he just run out my range and my spell. It's irritating for that as you just saw there, walking in the way you're strength. How many innocent people did you kill? Well, no more. So I just had a quick look at the map. So I do spend a bit of time on the bandit cars because there is actually chest and stuff everywhere and I was hoping some of them might have a slightly better weapon. I believe I'm only using uh, steel at the moment. I want 100% saw on what else there were in this game because it's like rusty, iron, steel and a master I believe but during the playthrough I didn't know that.
the punty bandits here. Yeah. So oh, white didn't let me lock on. My dog is a gold digger. All he cares about is treasure. No! It was his turn to buy the drink from this point came That one's not getting up again. I thought all the bandits were killed. Jumped down. But as I jumped down, that's when I heard that gunshot. So I thought, I'll grab this silver key. And I run around and get him from the back. Hammer just laid the dude straight on his back. So that reduced the amount of experience I got from that. Because she will pretty much did most of the damage there and I just got the finishing blow. So more bandits. You just go around Well, at least the bandits around every corner. I'm all gonna say bandits a lot in this video. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? If I had a level 3 spell, I think I'd one shot you. But once he knocks them down on the ground, they're like immune to damage. To some regards, like I try stabbing them, but it don't work. I try, you know, shoot them all around the with fireballs. So it's just like they're immune. So I try opening this chest because I once saw how many keys I had, so I'm just double checking it here. And I have six. Six at this point. I know there's been more available, but obviously. Me missing a few in the uh, Wellspring Cave, etc. I'm trying to hit him with a sword, but it's not letting me. A real <laughs> the fun of physics of Fable. I have an uncle who does magic tricks, Conjurer. I killed him when he made my pet rat. Yeah, him. I can't recall when I did it, but I did change my name with a town crier to Conjurer because obviously I'm using Will, so I'm Conjuring. Fireball that my hand. My dog is barking about somewhere. I see it as I turn my camera, so I thought, oh, I'll open it since I'm here. So it's just more money. And I was barking about a dig spot. So I thought I might as well since I'm here. Just you know. Crack my crack a few ribs on my dog with my shovel. And I get a beggar's ring. Shall we get on with it? So I'll wait for slow ass hammer to get here to knock down this gate. I see if I can hit the enemies through the fence, but that's not happening. This must be the infamous barricade. <laughs> Doesn't look that tough. So the highway man. Slightly tougher bandit. Stand and fight, you cowardly knave. Um, I like how he says stand and fight, but he jumps away like a little, like a little bitch. Nice 
Dit is nonchalantly. Yeah. You know, Sarge, it says how much health the highwayman does have. Westcliff, here we come. So I come over here because I know there is a few chests over here. I don't know who the amount of bandits I want shot on. You do that to me and you'll be sorry. So I'm glad I got that toughness upgrade because I think I'd be dead at one. You know what I mean? Oh, they turned to being a bandit because they didn't think. I don't think they thought, oh, we're going to be facing a hero. So I go up this tower because. Well, I start going up this tower, but I trigger the spawn points of the next wave of bandits. Stupid barrel. So I just thought I'd finish that guy off with melee. I can put up speed now. So I didn't know what chest my dog was barking about, so I skimmed it top of the tower. And got a nice health potion. The game gives you a lot of health potions in this one, like the original Fable gives you a lot of uh, resurrection files. So dog's barking for treasure, but I don't know where he wants me to go. So I just yonder off into my own area and find this chest behind the tower. That's the matter I don't really do in this game, is uh, outfits. I, may, I think I make one outfit change and that's it. So I thought I looted it all. But my dog barks. So I'm like, treasure? So I just ran back to my dog to see what it was, if it was treasure, if it was a dig spot. Because I don't really mess about with dig spots all the too much. I do, I have done the odd couple here and there, but not many. If you've done So I get a potion of skill. Which is the 12,500 one, I believe. So I upgrade my accuracy and my speed. And also my dexterity, so I can now flurry. But then I discard the upgrade I've just done because if you use a certain attribute on somewhere and then discard it, it don't go back into the said skill, it goes back into general. So I learn level 3 Inferno and I know that will help. And then I put a little bit in physical and I can't afford brutality yet, so that's what I do. So one upgrade you can see the effect on my character. So I'm in Westcliff now. I've heard a lot of stories about Westcliff. The place is supposed to be infested with barbarians. You don't say. I heard this one story about these traders who got attacked. Steel cutlass. A re two resurrection files. 
Valverine's killed both parents, but the kids survived. A slaver found the poor things, took them back to his camp, and locked them up. Getting flooded down at this point, which is irritating. That night, the kids turned, broke out of the cage, and ripped every slaver in the camp to shreds. There's one bloody thing right there. They're not as annoying to fight as they are at first when they do still jump about, but they're not as bad. They do charge up a level 3 spell. Realize it's still not enough to kill them, but two is. It's like a two shot Balverine, but I can three shot Hobbs and. I've spent my whole life Hobbs and the bandits. So I thought there might have been a chest appear because it looks like a spot that there would be a chest. So I just continued on the path. More Balverine to fight. Great, it's not the greatest XP, but it's still XP at the end of the day. And this is where I look. Damn, they hit fast. So I've got to watch out for that. So the AOE effect didn't hit that first one, the one that walked past me. Because apparently I grew up more on hammer than myself, which I'm all good, happy with that. As long as you don't get in the way. Hear a woman scream, but I'm like, nope. Trigger. We've got to help her. Come on. So, health, another health person, which I should really start using potions more than what I am. Are you all right? Valverine's attacked us. They killed my husband. They killed my Frederick. Yeah, that's a blank first one. It's like, can you trust people when they've been attacked by Valverine? But why would she survive, but him? not he? I, I think so. so. It's like that optional trader that you can pick up in uh, Darkwoods in Fable 1. Oh my poor Robert. What if they've already... I'm sure your son so I didn't know if I went my way or not and then I saw gold trail behind me but I thought I might as well walk up this tower and see I what's up here. Back. Expecting him to be I'm a chef. Sure so what? We'll find him. All chests really are in this game is potions, move hammer. She gets it way more than a while. Dog's barking about something, but I ignore him this time. Can't open that chest because it's a 20 chest, I know that. More Balverines. As long as they can't get close to me, I'm alright. Hmm. So I thought I'd come to this demon door and see what he said, because it was there. I ain't gone out my way to do them. And I don't plan on going out my way to do them. This one is just like the one that you gotta be pure corrupt, I believe. With my guy doing a weird back animation. So apparently, in the old times, people didn't give a rat's ass about. Um, I didn't give a rat's ass about her, uh, but pasta. I had to think of the word then. So I'm like, eh. So I half expecting him to jump out of me because you heard the growl of the uh Balverine.
So it takes like 15 hits of my sword to kill him. The seed just got in the way of my spell. So I went to look to see how many potions I had and I used one to get back to full health because I like I heard a laugh like that. So like when's the white balverine coming? Dog's back is for treasure, but I don't know where it is back is for treasure, so Why aren't they attacking us? I had a quick look round, found it. Dog's got a great sense of smell for treasure. So, I forgot about this place. That's why I've, the episode's a lot, a lot longer, because I forgot about the Howling Hills. And I knew there was chests on one other side before the dog back. Um, I won't tell which side. Treasure chests are everywhere in this bloody game. And nine times out of ten, they're potions of some sort, a weapon that's worse than what you've got, or dog associated stuff. At this point, I'll look at the length of the episode because we are at 45 minutes. I'm like, oh Jesus, how long is this one gonna go for? Well, I feel right at home here. Have you seen to the spent? Oh, you're going somewhere? So I'm like, I'll, I'll go. I'll get through here. Finish the episode. Welcome to our home. I thought you'd be back. I do seem to have spent Chill a lot of time underground since I met you. Flesh. I keep expecting a monk to run up to us and... Oh, don't listen to me. I'm just not too fond of caves anymore. But because that one's young, it actually avoided my attack. Like this beyond me. Yeah, it is a lot of attacks with my uh, sword to kill him. But the patterns are predictable, the jump up, they're going to be right behind you. So, you can predict where they're going to land. That's why they're not as tough as they were in the first one. Because when they jumped up, they were prepared for like, what, like 20 seconds or so. I just do a level 2 spell there, so we're getting close, and follow up with level 3 and a few more slices in my sword. It didn't release in time, so that were a waste of a charge up. So like, I see it starting to jump charges. I can. You might at it. Must be something we can do. Off me. 
Try to keep a level 3 spell charge up for when they do come, but this one just jumps out the way, which this one is the white bound version. But it doesn't tell you that, and it hits. It hits hard. Not too fast, unless it's doing that weird combo, that one there. Like as he said, let's go relieve him with urgency, but she's still dawdling and taking her time to get across. Because you know, NPCs are always always fast to talk, but slow to move. Treasure chest. Probably gold. Nope, a health person. In all fairness, I was half expecting something to jump out at me in this last room. Because it looked like a room that you would have a fight in while walking up the stairs. But it gives you a silver key. Which the dog barks back even though you can see it clear as daylight. I know I've been oblivious to some of them. Um. The more obvious ones are better. Don't think I've, of all the times I played Fable, I don't think I've ever collected all all of the silver keys or all of the shootables, you know, the uh, pesky gargoyles that appear we made it. in this game. I don't think they'll follow us into the light. We were quite a team back there, weren't we? So, I'm going to activate the dialogue, go through the dialogue and call it there. This is what I'm talking about. We just did a load more good than all the prayers I've said in my whole life. Look, Murray, another pair of nobodies trying to get into the crucible. Doesn't anybody know you've got to be famous to fight here? I didn't get informed about that at all, so... Uh, as a casual playthrough, you won't know. Terribly sorry, but I'm afraid this is a rather brutal business. And it's not just the blood-spurting decapitations. People only pay to see the big names, like Willy Widowmaker or Vice Grip Sally. Not a bunch of unknowns. Oh, yeah? Well, what's your name? Me? <laughs> Everyone knows me. I'm Mad Dog oh. Strangler McGraw. Best crucible fighter there was back in his day. Bit redundant, isn't it? What? What do you mean? Well, why do you need the strangler part if you're already a mad dog? Well, it's intimidating, isn't it? Yeah, it's confusing to me. I mean, I get Irving the Strangler Gibbons. It toughens it up a bit, doesn't it? But it's not like mad dogs, your given name. You know, I never thought about it before, <laughs> but she's got a point. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Look, if you really want to compete, go and make a name for yourself so the crowd will actually give a flying... Luck. That's all you need. <laughs> a bit Game of luck, and itself. you'll be famous in no time. No way I'm letting that friend of yours in, though. She can stay out here and make fun of my name all she likes. An impressive display, Hammer. You have managed to alienate the very men whose favor we need. Only one of them. Hero, you must find a way to impress those men, and you must do it alone. There are still many people in the world whom you could help or harm. Whether you do good or evil, your reputation will be made. Looks like it's just you and the muck. I'm going to poke around and see if I can find anything. Like a pub. 
mad dog so astray. if you have enjoyed Honestly, today's episode, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe if you are new, you and if you're still watching at this point, just like remember, you're crazy. awesome. Yo, what's up YouTube, it's TRS, all the real smarty here, and today we are carrying on my Fable 2 playthrough. I've got to earn 788 Renown to be able to enter into the Cucible, um, which then will let me be able to go towards the Spire to rescue Gaff. So I'm going to do the quest where I've got to confront Ripper, which I... At the at this point, I'm like, where do I go to get, do that, so. I will, like, I had to look it up on computer while I'm moving around, so I just claimed this chest since I was here. Since I just made a five grand investment with, uh, is it Belmont? So seven. 750 gold. I'm looking up where to do this quest. You do have to go to Brightwood to trigger it, but at this point I didn't know. And as you can tell by my equipment and my appearance, I did what I said in the last episode, in between episodes, and that was farm a bit more gold. So I could go to Fairfax Garden and buy a load of potions to increase my stats best that for last episode where I got my ass handed to me by the uh spear guards or spire guards I say not spear so as you can see even without flurrying it's taking three hits to kill these bandits which is a lot better than Which is a lot better than, you know, like, six, five, six, something, um. So, any gargoyles that I do see from this point on, I will be shooting. Because I hate the, uh, constant bickering that they do in the background. Which is like, oh, you call that him? How oh, did you survive for so long? That sort of, uh... Backhanding, so I wanted to see what a rank five spell would do to them, and it one shot them, which in all fairness it should, because I believe the damage on it is like three hundred damage or something. I think more hundred percent are on them numbers. So I'm gonna go to this little farm hut, help this farmer out. What? You're back to taunt me, you'll regret it. Well, what do you want then? I've come to help you. Your apologies, stranger. Uh, welcome to my farm. So I've got to go to the Brightwood Bandit Camp. So I can help the farmer out. With a pitchfork. Now that you're a farmhand. <laughs> so I did go for the Master Hammer and the Master Flintlock Rifle. So I just pause it to have a look at how far up the map I've got to go. Compared to last episode, this is pretty chill so far. Because there's no mini-map, you have to keep pausing it to see if you're going right way. The rank 4 spell is enough to kill. So the magic wasn't too far behind. But, obviously the uh, physical aspects were lacking. So I'm at the bandit camp. So I've just got to fight a lot of... Gads. 
What am I supposed to tell his wife? And The thing that I like about the um, archer, uh, not archer, the range is you can sub aim at body parts if you fully aim him. So you can disarm people with your weapon range. You can decapitate them. Right through the gut. That the upgrade I did is making this game a, a lot easier to some regards when I learn to actually start flourishing more. So I go to where the voice is coming from. For some reason the game didn't want to register me aiming at him. Shame. A random user had force, force punch, um, well I thought, oh, he, he bugged out. But you're not gonna kill me, right? Oh, you just gotta wait and listen to his dialogue. Very wrong. Justice is what I need. So, I'm gonna kill Ripper, because he doesn't deserve to be around. One final fireball, and I've got to return to Gale. A Gale's. That gate is locked at the moment. It is a later quest, I believe. I was seeing if there were a way to get closer by fast travelling, but you know that ain't a thing. So I'm just running up here. I had looked at right to see for all there, and I see that there's a key directly across. So I thought, I'm going to go out, I'll go out my way and collect that because I'm in the vicinity. Because all it is is up and round. A couple of bandits. What, three, maybe four bandits. I'm going to kick your head around the bandit camp later. Struck like a stuck pig. He says that. Silver key. I think I'm putting up to seven, maybe eight. I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't even know if I open a um a silver key chest. I'm a dog just barking about a dig spot, like I said in the last episode I'm not obviously too bothered about um So I'm just gonna run back to the camp. Oh, yeah. Farmer, not camp. Come here, let me. Let's offer to share the spoils with I guess. A lot of bandits at this point have been killed. Well, it didn't even make sense. I shot his head off all the way over there and it just spawned at my feet. Oh, who is it? Oh, you're back. Oh, you're back. And, and Ripper? I guess he's dead then. 
I guess he's dead then. Just wish I could have seen him go. Hope you made it painful. Slow and painful. So I'm 38 renowned short of being able to go to the crucible. So at this point I was trying to work out where is it on the reasons that I've got to go to be able to unlock it. But what is it Westcliff? I'm like, because I was pretty tired when I was playing this. I do I do enjoy these games so I played through it pretty much at this point the whole playthrough recorded and done but I just need to do the voice over to it all so see that the people in the bar and obviously I need 38 you know so use mature for once twice three times you are now famous enough to use the bloke his expression. Four, and I'm still a little short. Now I can return to Mad Dog. Mad Dog and Murray. And the hammer can teleport. So we're at the bar. Now she's at the bottom. It is a crucible contender if ever I saw one. Been causing quite a commotion, ain't not you? Everyone knows who you are. Why, there hasn't been so much buzz about a competitor since... Ooh, knock out Nora. Remember her, mad dog? Oh. Yeah. Knock uh, out, not Nora. Point is, you've earned your place in the Crucible's parade of almost certain death. She could have knocked me out any time, that Nora. Whatever became of her. Anyway. Make sure you're properly kitted out. I think Mad Dog and Murray have got a thing from Nora. So upset when our fighters die too quickly. <laughs> but if you live, you become a legend, and you'll be a shoe in to join Lucian's army. I don't think any winners have turned that opportunity down yet. Private sector security work is very lucrative, I hear. Money, money, Why, money. No dogs allowed inside. Health and safety, you understand. So it's a crucible challenge time. Will I become crucible champion? Well, the time will tell. What will it be this time? So you know how I said in the last episode I don't really change my clothes. I do believe I make an outfit change in the in here. Because I got bored of the uh, pauper's look. Oh, pauper's look, whatever it is. That'd be perfect for me. So I get the bandit shirt. Get the highway man's boots. And the trousers. And I believe I get the gloves. Yeah, them. I do. So I just thought I'd have a look at the weapons. I'm like, nah, I'm alright with what I've got. Right, who's next then? So I just skip the conversation because I just want to get in crucible. You, the new guy. It's your lucky, it's your day, lucky day. Get your ass in there. You might want to read up on the rules. Nah. 
Not that most contenders can read. So I will let the gameplay speak for itself. So, here we are, Mad Dog, poised once again at the gates of bloodshed and greatness as another competitor faces the challenge of the Crucible. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for... Conjurer! Round one. Three, two, one, go! First wave! Ah, those cruddy, grubby, vile people! I hate them! Well, let's see how the new boy likes them! Can our plucky newcomer keep our bloodthirsty audience entertained? He better, or they won't be throwing down any gifts to help him out! Second wave! Three, two, one, go! Media makes a thing about blocking! You must have to do it for it to work! Three, two, one, go! Oh, and it's separate as of billionaires! Don't you agree, Manny Boy? Butchery and butchery is what we delivered, and there are seven rounds to go. Perfect round. Round two, three, two, one, go. First wave. to impale. Second wave. Three, two, one, go. And the damage. You think you're going to dodge that one there, dog? Hurry, no one can dodge that. Third wave. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. He takes all the good eye to sit like that. It takes two eyes at least. Exciting! That kill will do his confidence a world of good. <laughs> Won't do the corpse much good though. Spectacular! How can he shoot the cute thing? It's cruel is what it is. And if you enjoyed that, wait till you see the six rounds we have left. Round three. Three, two, one, go! First wave! Did you see that? Indeed! He's well taken up and got stitches by the big hole in the ground! That'll be the dark pit of remorseless fatality, buddy. What a oh, kill! Yes. You can see yes. the blood yes. in his eyes! Second one wave! Three, two, one, Three, go! Three, two, one, go! The whole library's body drops like an old clothes potato! Oh, yes. You can tell he practices his shooting. Spectacular! He killed that one like he was swatting an insect. Say you had to enjoy it. I can't look anymore. Another scrumptious massacre. And we have five more still to come. Perfect round. I'm sure we have what you need. Sense of...
Have a nice day. Round four, three, two, one, go! Fire away! Oh, this place brings out the old romantic in me! Hearts of dead trees! You've never been married, have you, Mum? I would rather die first, old friend! here today and we four four rounds left perfect round round five three two one go first wave ah takes me back to my youth this I spent some good years in a bandit. Did they call you bad puppy back then? <laughs> oh, come on, dog puppy. No, oh, please yourself. Let's just watch the killing, all right? Get through, he has. That was beautifully struggled, right? Spectacular! 
Centuria to one heck of a crucible. Shame we only have two rounds to go. Perfect round. Don't burn the shop down. Ha. You... You love it. You love it. Kundra, what's up? Round seven. Three, two, one, go! First wave! Oh, you can smell the history in this arena! It smells of battle, of blood, of fear. And just a hint of vanilla. Second wave! Three, two, one, go! Oh, you Third can feel this willpower all Three, the way from up two, here! Three, two, one, go! Unprecedented, some might say, if they were unaware of the precedence. He's as worthy a competitor as ever competed in this competition. Indeed! All that remains is to congratulate our glorious winner. We hope you've enjoyed this most bloody and most compelling of Crucible editions. Fare thee well, gentle spectators, until the next time. So I've just done a perfect crucible, every round perfected, and that pretty much guarantees that I get an invitation oh, to the Spire. Congratulations! Three cheers for the new crucible champion!
That was something else. Best crucible in years. A classic performance that will be remembered for all time. Or at least as long as there are people around to remember it. Hmm. Best of luck, mate. Hope to see you around here again sometime. Certainly. Provided you don't suffer some horribly agonizing step. I can now be called Lionheart. That was fantastic. I listened to the commentaries every step of the way. I even got in to see a few rounds. That one with the hogs. Bloody brilliant. Which one? <laughs> really make me want to have a go myself. Oh yeah? I'd grind through there in half the time it took you. Well done. Not many make it through the crucible alive. The spire's not going to be much of a laugh either. You should take some time out before you go. Anybody you want to see or anything. No, nope, now's the good. time. Anyway, I'll make my way, make to, my the way to the dock. So you know where to find me when you're all set to go. Hannah has a good point. Once you are in the spire, leaving will be difficult. What do you want? And there are those who still need your help on these shores. If you abandon them now, they will surely come to harm. Do not get on that ship until you are truly ready to leave your quests behind. Garth isn't going anywhere. So, if you have enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and if you're still watching, just remember, you're awesome. Pretty much got the mainland sewn up, have you? Well, here I am to say my goodbyes. You know the last thing I said to my father before I went to the ritual cave? I can't remember. I can't remember if I said goodbye that morning or not. That's the funny thing about goodbyes. You never know when you'll get another one. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... This isn't like that. You'll do great out there. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's TRS, or oh, the real Smokey here. And today we're carrying on my Fable 2 playthrough. In the last episode, we challenged the cru Crucible and we conquered it. We got perfect round every round. And today, we are going to the Spire. To right, no personal effects to, allowed um, on board and no weapons. Rescue and no cat. dogs. Don't worry. So I'll, be doing I'll look after Furface quicker here. Choices and your stuff as well. Um, so the quicker choices most of the time means be evil. But you can make the good points back up pretty easy if you really want to. So we do we are gonna get a decent looking cutscene for what what were it two thousand and seven or eight when this game came out which you'll see now. Look at the detail of that cutscene. Best looking Just scene. Just look at this place. We've done well casting in our lot with Lord Lucian. Whatever he's planning, me and Lil are going to be set for life. And now we're talking to God. I've been with my Lil 13 years, been faithful the whole time. 
If you could see her, you'd understand why. Name's Bob, by the way. What is that noise? Bob is the I don't just hear it. Ever. I can feel it. This place feels wrong. You think there's a pub inside? I bet there's a huge one. <laughs> That's very British right there. One in a pub. What is this place? Six years I was a mason's apprentice. I sure never saw any building like this. How is this possible? Old Kingdom Engineering, I reckon. But then how's it come back now? Shut it. The world outside these marvellous walls is a corrupt, rotting husk. Reason is absent. Instead of order, there is only chaos. Chaos does not punish evil, nor reward righteousness. Chaos cuts innocent lives short, and we're to accept this as fate. I beg to differ. You stand in the center of a great instrument of change. With it, I shall remake the world, and my creation shall be unrecognizable in its perfection. But my will alone is not sufficient for such a monumental task. It is only through your toil, through your labors, through your conviction that Albion will be transformed. Do not fear the sound you hear, the throbbing you feel beneath your feet. These sensations will soon be as familiar as your own heartbeat. And so long as your heart continues to beat, all that I require of you is obedience. obedience. Now, sleep. sleep. You, your main mission was to really kill uh, Lucian. You could technically kill him there before he put on this outfit. Because you, you might Morning, have a sword or a gun. Welcome to the spire. You Hope you like it. Because you you're break, never leaving. Throw a fireball at him. Right now, you're in you the barracks. The you'll you eat will, and sleep but... here, and the rest of the time you will work wherever the commandant assigns you. Your job is keeping the scum building this place in line, and otherwise doing whatever the Commandant okay, tells you without question. When you receive an order, you will obey it immediately. Which brings me to that new piece of jewellery you've got. The collar is part of Lord Lucian's obedience program. The Commandant will explain it to you. Main thing is, do what you're told. And don't try taking the colour off, because you can't. And the penalty for even trying is death. And not the quick and painless kind, either. Now report to the Commandant. So, I know some people like this fire quest, but for me, it's a lot of rinsing and repeating the same thing. Wake up or spawn in wherever you are. Go to the commandant. Repeat. Do that again. I think you've got to do it like three or four times during ah, the My feet are killing me. When's on it? Hey, and then it's you. See we arrived together. An Remember? With an NPC How are you settling in? Can you believe they put me on guard duty? On my first day, too. I must have impressed someone. Oh, if Lil could see me now. She's always loved the bloke in uniform. Though I don't think she'd like the mask any more than I did. They look properly intimidating, but I can hardly breathe in that thing. And there's Dad. I don't know how you got here, but I know what you are. It doesn't matter. Your power will do you no good as long as you wear that collar. Be patient. Only the Commandant is allowed in his cell. Although he doesn't give me any trouble. One huh. day I'll get out of here. Do you? Is, is that what I think? Hear me? Dead. Keeps nice and quiet. Anyway, can't wait to write to Lil. Tell her all about it. 
I had to win the proof vote for me. What, what the hell did everyone else do? Because none of these people look like they're able to win at the crucible. The guys, maybe, but the other people, no. So did I really need to do the crucible? Could I not have just, like, bargained my way in, bought my way in, etc.? Well, eh. You gotta do the arena at some point, I suppose. I am the Commandant. You are Recruit 273. That number is not random. It was assigned to you because I have broken 272 recruits before you. You are nothing more than the next link in the chain. You have been brought here to oversee the reconstruction of the Tattered Spire and to serve Lucian as he sees fit. My job is to ensure the obedience of guards like you. You will do everything I tell you, without question. Failure to obey will cause the device around your neck to activate. This is not a pleasant experience. You will lose your willpower. Your memories and experiences will be drained away. This will continue until you submit. Perhaps you believe you will resist. Some do at first. A misguided sense of personal honor. You must decide. Is your honor really that important to you? So like I said, I'm just going to do the obedient so because it makes it Now, come quicker. here. Obey me. Be still. Good. Now, look. The spire has taken ten years so far, and it will take many more until it is complete. This project is ambitious beyond your wildest imaginings. Yet our progress is not a miracle. It is a product of obedience. Let us see how well you have learned. I am going to hit you, and you are going to thank me. Because I tell you to. The guy just wants to be a dog. Now, thank me. Obey. <laughs> thank me for your pain. Okay. Obey. Just thank you. And once more, thank me. Obey. Excellent. Now. Beg, beg me to show mercy. You do understand the concept, don't you? Yeah, it's not a hard concept to understand. Good. You learn quickly. That will be all. Pretty much, regardless of what choices you do, the game still got through it in the same segment. It just slightly quicker to go through the good way, uh, the evil way, obedient way. The Commandant made me talk to a recruit this morning. He overheard the poor bastard saying he missed his family. I'm glad I don't have a family. I just had a strain. Maybe it's the collar. Hard to think sometimes with these sounds. You know, I hardly notice it anymore. It's as familiar as my own heartbeat. Look at me. You have orders to report to the barracks. On my way, sir. Recruit 273. Report to the detention center. Oh, oh. Detention. Naughty boy. Mm, I'm gonna come and so Be patient. Time has little meaning here. This place is powerful, but it is only a shadow of what it will become. Can you hear it? The sound of our will being sapped. I don't know when we'll be able to speak again. The Commandant has threatened to move me somewhere deeper within the spire. So, 
The length of in-game time you're in here, I think it's like he 10 does. years. I think. Ow! Shot it! Ah, oh, there you are. Stand here and guard these maggots till I get back. They're not allowed any food, though, so don't touch the controls or you'll be sorry. I'm gonna grab a quick bite. Mmm, so, tasty food. This yum, bit of the quest yum. is another time gear, essentially. You've got to either feed them or not feed them. Either way, it takes three minutes, but if you feed them for each one you feed, you get stock. It's you oh, need experience. We haven't eaten in weeks. So, I don't want to die yet. I will just fast forward to. We haven't the, eaten in weeks. The, uh. End of Do this something. Bit. We'll die if we don't so eat. They only ever say the same dialogue over and over Do again, so I will be back shortly. All right, so the three minute wait is up. up. They won't last another night. The commandant will be pleased. We'll die if we'll we don't die eat. We don't eat. Oh, Pretty much the dialogue of them is we'll die if we don't eat for weeks. Feed us. Why are you doing this? Rinse and repeat. So we're on week 137, so that's two and a half years, or well, just over two and a half years, two and a half years is 130 weeks. The Commandant wants to see you. I'll get you uh, gold, all the gold you ever wanted, please, please. The Commandant's right to keep this one caged, Don't let him break your will. dangerous he is. Hey, what are you doing in there, you nutter? The guy is mental. Oh, the guy's just not talking to fucking on. He was talking to me on the commandant through uh, kin kine kinetic, kinetic, whatever it is through m the mind. I'm reporting to the commandant again. I saw the dead body. You have done him. well so far. I have selected you for a special duty. I believe you know this man. Guard well. 268. I order you to be quiet. Through my labors, through my conviction, Albion will be shut down. your mouth. Those who do not obey can be made to. But those who cannot obey are useless. Take this sword. I am nothing more for the manipulation. Now, kill him. So you do kill Bob off screen. Oh, no, <sighs> you stab him in the stomach, last <sighs> groin area. I am accumulating a lot of evil. You so far. will make an excellent I think soldier. I was like Dismissed. 300 evil points this being here. An unloved task slows the passage of time, an eternity passed within the spire. Each day the great black walls grew, each dawn grew darker in their shadow, the and the deeds within the walls grew That's darker still. Hell, yeah, As years yeah. passed, the hero's task seemed ever more impossible. Lucian remained behind the great white light, Garth remained hidden, and others like the Commandant appeared all as brutal and powerful as the first. And slowly, all thought of freedom or the outside world faded. Yeah, it's not that... It's not that difficult. Shut your moaning! You should be thankful you're still alive! Okay. Many years later. So my character will be like f at least 40 something now. Officer 273, report to the Commandant. But you see what I mean by you spawning, go to see the Commandant, etc. Gap in there this time.
gas had been moved to a uh, deeper section of the uh, spire because they're trying to convert him pretty much to join the evil side but he's got the will power <laughs> no pun intended to uh, outwit him and out that out construction of the upper there. tier begins tomorrow the man guarding the site is overdue reporting in I need someone dependable to check the site. If you find the man in dereliction of duty, escort him to the torture chamber and await further orders. Pretty much this is just a bag of prison of this game. You must hurry. The storyline essentially of well bits and pieces of the storyline are copy and paste essentially from the first one. Crucible is the arena, the spire is back in prison. It would have been better if they had copied and pasted the boss ranks because, as everyone knows, Fables 2 is infamous for one of the most easiest boss fights in the game. Because, in all fairness, you don't even have to kill the final boss. The game does it anyway. You heading to the construction site? No, I'm just going for a quick breezy walk. What do you think, NPC? God is dead. Couple of health potions. We meet again, hero. You came to rescue me. But you're no good to either of us with that collar on. The gaff has just disabled. There. I've removed it. It's just disabled the collar. It took me years to focus will. enough will to destroy our collars and that guard. I've got nothing left. So when trouble comes, I've got nothing it's left. up to you. The only way out of the spire is through the Commandant's chamber. So ready yourself, and let's, and let's move. So now it's a good old ex escort mission. Wait, that's the will user, and he's not wearing a collar. Get him! Shall I kill you here, or? <laughs> So these guys aren't as strong as the ones we reversed previously, or I'm just stronger, uh, but it's just like, Search wave everywhere. after wave of enemies. <laughs> yeah, you do. Slice we down. are willing to die. You gotta think I don't have my normal weapon, so I'm actually got weaker than my normal. Prepare yourself. Got plenty of health. You are ah. it's got it. I'm glad you're not as close as the one I was because this is being nice. for the evil guys but we could just sneak past so we could you know kill the guards and help humanity a bit more you know we won't even try it's all about me and you 
Commandant's office. Waiting for slow ass to have to catch up. We're not leaving until the Commandant is dead. I know what you're thinking, but it's not revenge I'm after. Revenge is just a fortunate byproduct. A new load of recruits is being brought in. Take a look. It's the same now character model as up. last time. After all the promise you've shown, you betray me. Lord yep. Lucian will kill me for failing to keep order. But I am obedient, and so before he does, I will eliminate you. Okay. Now, come here. So obviously you can't target him so you're in the circle, that's where I found this out. When the Commandant has fallen, I will regain my strength. So this is pretty much like um, Nostro from the Stable ones, you know, where you have to kill some in your holom, your holom and you can then be able to damage him. Would be nice if they had health bars, but you know. How far do it look great? And Spark pushing me away. I'll try and get Spark pushing me away. That was a super kick for the guys, for the one guy that's there. And Scarf makes all the XP, luckily enough, I don't need it. I think it's safe to say you don't need to protect me anymore. So now he's got he's exactly bad. We can use this to reach the docks. Now come on. Alright, so we're gonna go to the docks where we're gonna get attacked by a lot of guards when the game wants to register that I can go. The Tatis by his dock. And he's shooting them fireballs out of his throat. So the guards are one shot to the headshot with a pistol. The guards are using blades. Place. Die! Level 4 fireball towards a group of enemies that apparently only wanted to hit one of them. So, this is where I realised my health was low, so that was a mistake by me, not healing. Not the difficulty of the game, that was just me forgetting to heal. Yeah, I, 
At least coins. I didn't know they was infinitely spawny. I just run ahead. Well, jog ahead. Snipe one with a pistol. Snipe two. Apparently, it's not that. I can't hit him in the head now, which is. We are willing weird. to die. We have to move. Two for one with that really. And finish him off on the ground with a pistol. Your fallen comrade. You hit. Now it just looks like a pretty clean walk, and I notice that the enemies are coming from behind again. This is where I realize, oh, this infinite. You want to live? I suggest you all I get back on the ship good with to be us. True. Yeah, two of the four heroes get back on, and now it's another cutscene. I thought I would never see land again. I thank you for your help. Another friend of yours? Teresa and the doggo. Your furry friend has been coming here every day for a week. He knew that you would return victorious even before I did. Ten years. Welcome back, my friend. You have done the impossible. And Garth, I welcome you too. Welcome me. You're in my way. So please, step aside. You know much about the Old Kingdom. Enough to know you cannot destroy the Spire alone. We share a common aim. All I ask is that you listen to what we can offer you. All right, I'll listen. But I promise nothing. I will go with Garth. Hammer is at the inn in Rookridge. You should see her before we talk again. She'll be overjoyed to know you're back. Oh, and here, you'll want this. My old equipment. Take my hand, Garth. It's a shame that it don't equip we have a great deal you. to discuss. Do I have any choice? Nope. So. If you have enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and until next time. <coughs>
You should take some time to recuperate before you come to the guild. You'll find the world has changed since you last saw it. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's TRSR, the real smoky here. And today, we're carrying on my Fable 2 playthrough. In the last episode, we just beaten, well, we just rescued Garth from the uh, Spire. Today we are carrying on the main storyline, so we'll probably be heading towards the Hero Book 3. Hammer has learned the location of the thief. Return to the guild as soon as uh, you can. But before we do that, I'm going to collect the Soul investment, essentially, opened. I did before I went on the docks with uh, Bermath, I think his name I is. Wish all my customers were like you. And I'm checking out West Cliff as well, see if so I actually like the look of, you know, fairness, the clothing options in this game are rather, you look like a posh, uh, you come back anytime. or you look Stores stupid, opening for business. like this hat I just bought, uh, bought no, on, that looks better, nah, it looks awful, hope you enjoy it. I do have horns on my character's head at the moment. I set the that quest as the waypoint because I want to know where it was still located. So it TP'd me back to the entrance. Greetings, stranger. Don't keep barking for treasure, but I'm not going for it because this point treasure is a bit meh. Well, if it is my old business partner, I never thought I'd see you again. What a wonderful surprise. And you couldn't have come at a better moment. Have you ever seen such a marvelous transformation? Families enjoying wholesome fun. Not a criminal or a ruffian in sight. All poverty eradicated. And I own it all. Even the Crucible, that grandest and heroic of arenas. Great commentary team they have too. You've probably noticed I've done a fair bit of changing myself. I'm free from the shackles of that ridiculous thesaurus from the temple of business and yodeling. I'm a respectable man now. But enough of that. I have a very healthy sum of gold for you here. Your investment plus ten years of interest and my heartfelt thanks. Can I give him now, five it's grand? Time I found new pastures, new ventures. And I believe in my turn. My he gives. <laughs> Good farewellizations to you. How much did he give me in return? Is that twenty-five grand? I think it is. Or oh, fifteen. So. Pretty much give him five grand back and then a thousand, a thousand for each year. So I thought I'd just sleep up up here because I've never really been up here. I'm just ex exploring to some degree. So it's a five chest that I just thought I'd pick up because I ran up to it. A bewitching you know, of makes him more attractive without, you know, needing cosmetic surgery. So I really want much up here. So I just thought I'd, I'll carry on the main storyline, go back to the guild, listen to whatever the three of them have got to say. Did you see Hannah? She is on her way as well, with the information she's gathered. Our friend has told me much about you. That night in the castle, your sister, I had no idea. If I'd known, I would have stopped him. There comes Hannah. Sorry it took me so long. Lucian's men are all over the place. You must be Hammer. 
And you must be God, Lucian's lackey. I was made to understand you might be mistrustful. I didn't anticipate your staggering wit and intellect. Oh yeah? And did you anticipate that I like to take a hammer and whack smug little spell flingers? This is not what we're here for. The sound in the hammer has information on the third hero. Mostly gathered from a tavern, I hear. Tavern. Not one, lots of them. I did a proper tour. Right. I think this bloke, the thief, is a pirate called Reaver. Reaver. He runs the port of Bloodstone to the southwest. And you got this from some drunk? Yeah. He sailed with Reaver for years. Said they captured hundreds of ships. Doesn't mean he's a hero. Lots of pirates capture ships. Hmm. Reaver takes down galleons with the one boat. Sounds all right, the winds, rough seas, sound. a mile away, doesn't matter. Like stuff he picks off the cheap. captain. The more impossible the, the shot, the quicker the crew surrenders. Impressive. But we're not trying to make Lucin surrender. No, we're, we're not. not. Bloodstone is surrounded by Wraith Marsh on three sides, and Ocean on the fourth. No matter. We can reach it via Colus Gate. Not this one. It leads only to Hero Hill. Got another one handy, have you? I built one at my tower. It can get us to Wraith Marsh. Okay, you're a genius. Does it work? Not sure. It will take some time to activate, but it should work. Should. You must do this together. Come on, he's very Lucian uh, has sent skeptical. men to guard Brightwood Tower. Okay, then let's go. After you, your brilliance. Barbarian. Hmm. Hammer and Gav aren't the biggest fan of one another. So, well, the aim is now to go back to Gav's tower and to activate his pull of gate to go towards Brace Mass. Brightwood, that's normally bright, but now it's dark and mysterious. I mean, we shouldn't use the front gate. Lucian's men will be expecting us. Follow me. I know another way in. It really is great to have you back. I went back to the temple for a while. Same old nonsense. Ignorant men trying to tell everyone how to live their lives based on books written a thousand years ago. Right. And nothing that ancient could possibly contain any wisdom. Hey, these aren't old kingdom schematics that teach you how to build guns that shoot lightning. That was cool, it's a load of superstitious nonsense that never helped anybody. And if you swallow it all, it can get you killed. Hmm. Hmm. We may actually be in agreement there. But let's cut this short. We have a lot to do. So we're just running through forest. Coming up on back sides of Garth's place, because they think, oh, they'll be smart and we'll be what run into many folk. So you think any old genius would have already thought that as well and gone through the front gate probably would have been the better approach because they probably would have put more men on the back. But you know, games don't work like that. I do run down there because I saw the silver key in the corner of my eyes because after that first couple of episodes where I didn't pick any up I was a bit, little bit more vigilant you know just in case we do come up to a chest so there were like seven men on that bridge Oh, 
is I'm not the only one that the target, so it's a little more manageable. It really is. Common dog still take a couple of hits to kill. So obviously I don't have any of the legendary weapons you can get in this game. I've already got now, Don't find it. Don't it's not my good enough. Not I get a gap in the master of will, but you'll never use his lightning and blades. That I've seen. You might do more, but I've only ever seen you. That said so. Like, there's his blades that completely miss the Commodore point. You like that? Moment, this is a lot of you know, smashing enemies. Oh, over the fence. So the dog is whimpering, and the sounds of hearing it being in pain is dis discomforting. You gotta do it twice for it to register for some. I don't know why it's happening down here because that's just a complete wrong way. They're probably some down there, but we'll, we'll never find out. Come on then. Move out the way then. down there, maybe four. I did not even need attacking, but you know, get out of the way. So I'm like, ooh, enemy, we've got to kill him. So it's at this point where you start gaining a load of expertise. Oh, you did four plus the gun. You can see the tires fire in background, it's pretty big. I will need to concentrate to start the gate. I must rely on the two of you to watch my back. Oh, sure. We'll do all the work while you sit there and think. Let me know when it's my turn for a break, will you? Is that a shard? Amazing. Sunset's amazing. That thing's a bloody nightmare. We have a small advantage. They don't want us dead. I know that's supposed to be comforting, but it's not. And it's not alone. Looks like it's brought its own army. They're coming up the stairs. Stop! Look out! So a level five spell is enough to take out the little guys, but not enough to come down. Thing up in no time. Level five. Look out! Die. I'm not gonna get into the habit of doing what I'm 
I think they're annoying in the face of the pussy band. Is that the only downside of the game? I thought I'd jump through it now. Now we're in race math. The um, undead swamp areas, it's like down wood. The teleporter did cave, knock out my character. And then we well, found back well, some creepy well. old man. What have we got here? <laughs> yeah, the guy puts me near, but he doesn't take any of my weapons. You could use that hammer and get out of here pretty easy. Is it alive? Yeah, you, you had a dog with you there, like. 
It ran off into the fog. <laughs> the Banshees will have it by now. <laughs> Aye, you've seen the last of that mongrel, I can tell you. You from Bloodstone, eh? No. 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 You ain't got the stink of it about you. Tis a wicked place. Would be burnt to the ground if there was any justice. So, what do I do about you? I reckon I'll burn you as well. <laughs> Take it, the banshee found him, not my dog. You should be able to hear me now. You're alive. And the the Colors Gate malfunctioned, and Hammer and Garth were sent back to the guild. You've made it to Wraithmarsh, but you're on your own for now. Well, you're not entirely on your own, but Hammer and Garth cannot reach you. Be wary. The fog here is unnatural. Somehow it dampens the guild seal. Bloodstone is on the far side of the marshes. I suggest you head there, quickly. I take the keys and the dog so I can get out. When the game made you shift the door. I get the dog a drink, but he's been helpful. So I do explore a little bit because it does look like, like I said, in the with the bright sun, like wood bit. I will not really be coming back to these areas. I'm looking around for the gargoyles because I can hear it right now. Like I said, any gargoyles that I see or find, I will, you know, just evaporate them. Um. So this is not hear what the demon door says. This is again. Oh, art thou perchance a devotee of mine? I have performed. See, someone that wants to perform actions to what he says. So it's a bit meh. This is where the colour color skirt put you. Yeah. I'm driving a lookout, see if that's all I can see. So I've killed a total of two out of the fifty gargoyles. I no matter what I've done, I've never actually got all fifty of them. So now you can get rewards for is it every 5 or is it every 10 that you kill. Something in the marsh is controlling the fog and using it against you. Yeah, you is. need to find the source and destroy it. The banshee. The look behind me. The music is the first one. It did improve on some character designs, I suppose. Oh, my. Six. Eight. 
shops to kill a monkey. Well done. But be careful. There may be more, so stay on your guard. I may use contact with you again because of the fog. This hollow mint spawns somewhere on the map where this one would have a look upstairs in one of the houses if it's all up here. But these houses are just run down like there's no in any of them. I know there is a little well behind this one that you go for a, that's a part of a quest. So you, that fudding and shaking you can see is hollow men spawning. But I'm not sure where. This used to be Oakvale. Though it has changed radically since I saw it last. And that was a long time ago. It has seen many a cruel deed. Six hundred years ago, bandits attacked the village and burned it to the ground. The survivors rebuilt their lives, only to have them destroyed a second and final time. A new threat came from within. A reckless young villager made a deal with the forces of Shadow, who took the lives of every other resident at payment. All of his family, all of his friends, everyone he loved. And now, the marsh has engulfed the village. And Oakvale is nothing but a bitter memory. So that's where it tells you how long of a jump there is between this game and the first one. 600 years. So then she says the village went down, people rebuilt. The intro the first one. So there is a gargoyle there, you can see it sort of. But obviously you can't shoot for cream, which is absurd. So you have to get a bit of an angle on it. And you shoot from here. So that is... And you can see that I'm hitting it directly, but it's just not wanting to register it. So you've got to hit it from certain areas, which is stupid. In all fairness. I think throughout the total playthrough, I think I killed 10 or 11, I'm not 100% sure on that. But like I said, never got all women, never got all 50. So this is just a lot of hollow men. Because at this point I'm just like, I can't be bothered killing You're making good I'm progress. just going to run through it. You're about halfway through the marshes now. You'll be in Bloodstone before you know it. So the hollow man makes a note of that, but I'm just going to... That bit you do have to kill them because the can do with the fog. You can't hit me! You can't hit me! <laughs> there is another gargoyle right there. That's gargoyle number five. You can take your time and explore through these areas, but it would make the video a lot longer. So the game do want to make a register hit the note But Banshees are easy enough killed. Very impressive. 
Few survive banshee attacks. You're nearly there. Nearly safe. I won't really say bloodstone stand there, but you know. Each to their own. Solid gold necklace. So there is a troll here, but I don't bother with it, I just run around it. Because you don't need to kill it. You only kill it if you need to get keys. That you thought I'd shoot it just like me. So I look I just paused it there and looked at how far away I was from it, so I just thought I'll just run. The troll can live heavily can live happily. Right now. So, as you know, the game is coming to an end. There is only a couple more episodes left after this. The town centre is over the next rise. So, if you have enjoyed um, today's video, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and until next time. Peace. Hey mate, you got business with Reva? He screwed her back. Well, hello there. Always a nice surprise to have company. I don't get many visitors to my little coastal paradise. Especially ones who might well redefine a man's concept of Paradise. <laughs> you little minx. On the rare occasions that people make it through Wraith Marsh, they're lost, confused, scared. But not you. You are looking for someone. And if you're looking for someone in Bloodstone, let's be honest, you're looking for me. But I'm afraid I hate wasting time on nobodies. That's you. Tell you what, why don't you go out and rescue some travelers, or slay some beasts, or slay some travelers? The details are unimportant. But prove to me that you're worth dealing with, and you'll have my full attention. That's it. Scoot. Off you go. Vamos. Que veig. Allez vous en. Yo, what's up YouTube, it's TRS, or the real smoker here, and in today's video we're coming to an end, or coming close to the end of There's the nothing for it. Fable 2. We need his help, and he wants to play uh, his little game. We've so you must play it, earn some more or Lucian will now. soon get what he wants. So With the colour skate inoperable, Wraith Marsh cuts you off from the rest much. of the world. Uh, if you need to leave Bloodstone... Perhaps the sea captain will give you passage. Couple of quests that you can do for seven and a half thousand X uh, renown, I think. Um, I'm just gonna show you a few. There's like Treasure Island of Doom, which is a pain in ass. There's Love Hurts, which isn't the worst one to do. Which I believe that's the one I actually do. Which you're helping someone. Obviously, I can't. Fast travel there because, like, trees have just said um, while I was talking over her, is you have to get a ship off of Bloodstone. I can give you. I was looking to see if the blacksmith were open, but it's not. I'm just gonna go to the Bowersome Cemetery where I've it costs you 25 gold. So, what are you supposed to do if you don't have gold? Get a job. I don't think there is any jobs in Bloodstone, is there? Dog barking for treasure. Uh, 
I got duck box for Tricky, but it didn't show me out. I was just double checking where I needed to go, and it said Bowerstone Cemetery. So I was like, okay, I know where that is. I don't know why I went to Market Road. I should have really gone to Rookwood Road. The Rookwood Road is closer. So, like I said, this you game really do deserve a discount. Coming close to finishing this, this episode, and then the, comes the finale is yeah. tomorrow. Back and go on the shelf straight away. I would check the vendors to see if there is all potentially, you know. You got any health or Obviously, like I said in the last episode, I was going to shoot Dagals if I saw them, <laughs> and that one everyone knows about. I'm at six to fifty. Like I said, I think I get ten or eleven in this whole playthrough. So I know it's astonishing, amazing. But the cemetery is a lot better than in previous games. Because in previous games, the was just like one tree or surrounded by gravestones. This is when it's got a. Nice, nice looking house. I've got a knock on the door. I don't know how many times this boss I'm not in. I'm not well, in. I'm in, but I'm busy. Doing absolutely, doing absolutely nothing. nothing abnormal. Still there. Go away. Unless. Yeah. How would you like to assist in this century's most important scientific experiment? Oh, good. Good. Your first, um, scientific expedition is to Rookridge. There should be a fine body part hidden away in a cave there. A hob cave. Good luck. So this is a lot of... Go here, go there, collect this, collect that. You know, sort of ordeal. So obviously, I know there's no treasure, no dig spots somewhere. Well, there is dig spots, but I'm not just. I'm just not gonna bother with them. It's hot massive. Hobbs are very basic mobs that they find. Two hits and they're dead. Don't know why I bother collecting XP at this point, because I don't need any. Obviously there's a few spells I could learn, but that's about it. Been like that for a full I know there is a gargoyle in here somewhere, but I'm just not so aware, so I don't even bother looking for it. The one with the one does a force push backwards. They do dodge every now and again. But they can't dodge a bullet. They ain't near. So I'm not quite sure where the body is. Well, what the body part I'm looking for is directly. So that I would just wait for the dog to show me the way. Do you know the way? No. The dog does know. So Lady Grey's lower body. The annoying part about this quest is you've got to go back to the 
graveyard every time. You gotta just collect them all and then go. Come on in. The door's open. So I'm gonna give lower body part to him. Oh. It's her. It's really, really her. Where you off to now? Back again, are ya? Well, I'm wet for you. Give me But let's not waste time on such awful tales. The second part of her is hidden in a tomb between Lips Bloodstone and Wraith Marsh. To be more precise, it's it. hidden in the reason why I didn't kill that Earth Troll in the last episode. The one that I just completely ignored because I don't need to fight it. So obviously there's no location you can fast travel to, which is annoying. Well, there is a location to fast travel to, but it's not quite where you would want it to be. So, I'm not sure which one's the best one to teleport to, so if you've got a waterfront, a run from Bloodstone backwards instead of going through all of Wraith Marsh. But, you know, Fenders, I can't be asked for dealing with all the banshees. I will be straight up blunt with you there. Banshees are just a time sink. <laughs> so I did notice some uh, when I was coming through, I noticed that this first time going through this in here. I just have to find the right amount. Hey. And that was the right one. So it opens a, another tomb up. Which I once saw which one it opened up. The time is I don't know why late. I shot there. So it opened this one up. Hmm. For, a, for a tomb. Because apparently this episode I'm a tomb raider. <laughs> Um, that might be the title of this episode of uh, this Fable 2, Part 9, Tomb Raider Asylum. So I just pulled the map up because I want to where I had to go. Obviously that shaking you can see the screen is the Earth Troll that's right down there. All I'm in spawning, but I'm just gonna run past. But obviously, with the way this game works, the camera locks you on. I'm just gonna go into the tomb. Twin Blades Tomb. Because Lady Grey had something to do with Twin Blades. No, she really didn't. Did you know, Hollow in a week to fire. I do that light in these ones, which is slightly annoying. What, four, what, five, six shots, I think that one. So I put two, two here. This is pretty much like a puzzle to a degree. You gotta shoot it, but the game does not wanna lock me onto it, which I can manually shoot. Pain in the ass. The first shot didn't register on target for some reason. I think there's like three or four rooms you've gotta go through that are like that. So that's one of the zappy ones. So an orb did so. So it's in that little tunnel. There's an enemy around somewhere because it's locking me, you know, combat stands. So 
There's that like awkward squatting animation ready to come back. Do the chicken them up. I think it's the chicken them up. Or is it the fire them up? It's one of the two. Don't really know the emoji emotes in this game off the top of my head. But it's not that one. The dog doesn't approve of that. So I was trying to work out where it was. I was like, which one are you trying to do? It didn't register me doing it the first time. <laughs> Not a fan of these sort of missions. I was just having a quick look in that room. Three hits from my hammer to kill the default one. Three shots from my gun as well, so either R works. A two flur. Now you've got to run back to hit that switch. They actually locked me onto it that time. This is pretty much is a rumor hollow man. Then you have to fight and then do a hit switch. Because the magic takes too long to charge up, I think charge up to fine. That should unlock the gate. And it did. Hey, you're a mighty adventure, aren't you? I've got you can hear there is a gaggle around here somewhere. Silver key right there, which I pick up before opening the plastic. But I'll break that since it's there. And that's a ripple body. I don't know why I exit through the door when I should have just TP'd.
Nova Silver King. Don't know how many Silver Keys I've actually got at this point. The love hurts. So I'm going to go back to the mansion because apparently it takes four days to get there. You don't pe teleport, you just walk. I'm in here. Come on in. So there's one more piece to acquire. Oh, wonderful. Yes. My poor lady Grey. My Grey. poor lady Grey. What did they do to you? They cut her up and At least your them. parts ended up in cool, dry places. Oh, right, yes. Thank you so much. You're probably the closest thing I've ever had to a friend. Hmm. Pathetic, isn't it? Not really. There's, Some people are sure. There's only one more part of her left to find. And it's in a vault somewhere in Fairfax Gardens. I'm sure you'll find the right tomb. I'd come with you, but, well... I don't go out much. I try not to go out too much. I might run into people. And people can be assholes. People know... Nine times out of ten, people are assholes. But people with... People have agendas. And people with agendas, they... Well, can be dangerous. This game's a prime example of Lucian's got an agenda to pretty much eradicate the world and rebuild it from scratch. So obviously there's going to be notes here. I got all this potion trader just to buy some healing potions, I think. Because the game has a habit of not telling you, you know, how many potions you've left. I just thought, fuck it, I'll buy a um, resurrection vial. They're the uh, potions that I use to level up my stats, pretty much. Because making money in Fable 2 is not hard. I, I look to see what my dog were barking at. Because this is supposed to be a later on area. But I can't remember, oh, earlier, obviously. So I'm in Lady Grey's tomb. There's a gaggle right there. I just find him annoying. I try to kill him. So jump down a hole like I'm reliving the uh, first uh, first mission. And see so there's that to find out. They fell into the game and he decided to throw beetles at you. You know, beetles that I can quite easily one shot. Don't know how many throws at you. I don't know why I run through it again because I can just, you know, teleport out. But at that time I wasn't thinking about that. As you can see the exclamation mark on my uh, D pad bottom left. Because all it is is a silver key and beetles. How the terrain is, they can didn't, didn't want to hit them all with that spell. No offense, I didn't really need to do what I did earlier on with the XP, it would have just been more of a, a little more of a struggle. Not like, guess, like I said before, not like this game is uh, overly too difficult. But obviously, you can't die, you just lose a bit of XP that's on the ground when you do die. 
My dog is barking for treasure. So I'm gonna go back to uh, Toby. So apparently everything in this game is to called Toby. I'm down in the basement. Everything's ready. So you actually have a choice of what you can do here. You can help him and take the love of the of Lady Grey. At last. I, I like how you give him the head over the corner, but My it's a mask at lady. Lady. on the body straight away. You must think I'm some sort of pervert. Yeah. A real creep. But, well, I've been in love with Lady Grey for so many years. Ever since I found a picture of her. She's been the one woman I could talk to. The one woman who wouldn't turn away from me in disgust. And now you're wondering how such an amazing creature could ever love someone like me. Potions. You see, this procedure, it's not just about reanimating dead tissue. It's also a love spell. Oh, we'll be so happy. I'll take care of her forever. Just like she deserves. Stand back. It's time! It's Fable's version of Frankenstein's sorrow, to a degree. This is where I, re I realize, it's oh, alive. she's looked oh, at me. My sweet lady, how do you feel? You, you brought me back. You are magnificent. Well, you know, actually, it, it was me who... I have been asleep so long. 500 years, But now I'm time. ready to live again and to love for the first time. You are so perfect. Oh no! The love spell makes her fall in love with the first person she... You've got to go. Now! So, so I'm the perfect I example of a human... Of a, of a man. But it beats now. I'm big and... I'm big and infused with blue lines. Please, please. She and I are meant for each other. I know it. So I do leave the mansion. So I'll wait for the timers, essentially. Are strangely alluring? My sweet lady, I promise to take care of you always. You are now famous enough to use the scary laugh expression. That's a good start, but you will need so to I become need a good deal back. more famous. So, I pretty much go back in the mansion. And there is uh, a Macatley, you know, disappeared. You know, like magic. So I was just looking at the XP itself, and I saw this one, which I thought, I'm already here. But I didn't mean to fast travel. You have to buy the mansion to then get the deed for it. So it's a hundred thousand, I've got hundred and eighty three K, I've got more than enough. So I do buy and rent it out. I get the key and the gravekeeper's not. So if I was a rent at a time. I I uh, don't address any of the rent in this game. So I just thought I'd pull up the map to see where I'm going because I'm not overly too familiar with this area. So pretty much I've just funded that weirdo to have a happy life with um, 
Lady Grey. Not only did I bring her back to life, I gave him a hundred grand. Yeah. If all new life worked like that, reanimate people and get hundred grand. I'd have brought people back to life, I know, with that. Million years, yeah. So this quest, once I complete this quest, I'll have enough for Reva. I did mention this sort of stuff earlier on in the playthrough that there's a couple of renowned checkpoints, not many. Do not continue a couple down of. this hallowed path, mortal. You are walking into your own tomb. Turn back. I must say in the hollow man. Nothing but death awaits those who wander into our accursed kingdom. Kingdom the talk the Even talking like it's uh the army of the dead uh, from Lord of Rings. Leave before it is too late. I'm just gonna open this chest. Claim the son of whatever dies. So obviously you can't directly go the way that you came in. I won't saw which one it was, but I might as well pick up the silver key while I'm here. Get the next one over. You have to walk through this one. I don't see why I can't just, you know, teleport out. Or is it the magic? Of the hollow man. Did I do that too quick because not all the enemies were spawned in. But like always, it's more hollow man. Couple of blood to hammer in. Level three spells a lot. Level five just obliterates them, but level five just take to so long to charge up. There is a chest there that I saw, so I thought I might as well open it. Might be a second. little bit of gold, something like decent. No, it's a necklace. And this is a hit switch. Yeah, again, the game does not want, like to lock you on to them. Didn't even hit that with my... Really did not like to lock you on on. Did I just backhand that? So I didn't even try to free fire that one, I just thought, fuck it. I just thought, eh, I'll hit it. I really don't know what you're supposed to do if you haven't unlocked the shell to be able to manual him. It'd be rude not to pick this chest up that's just there. But the dog's barking about as I'm walking in. It's money. So, you want some cheesy tech cheese? Right, us to this world, the holy object we have sworn to protect. There's a big hollow man. The 
they call him and what? Still had. That's the full boss of the Hollow Man anime. I did have a little quick look around to see if I could find that gargoyle that was talking, but Don't you try and ignore me, you fake evidently you know if I can't see it. I'm just like, screw it. So I did come over here to see if I could get another angle out over there, see if you could see it from here, but evidently you can't. And then the uh, Fable 1 you could actually knock them stuff off the ceilings, but you can't in this one, which is fair enough. So I'm coming to the end of the tomb. It should give me, uh, it should give me the renown that I need. You are now famous yep, enough to use the Kiss My Ass expression. So the whole graveyard shenanigans do it. Uh, you and your deeds are the talk of blood. 12,000 XP. If nothing uh, 12, else, 12,000 renown, even I only need 10.8. But that is where I am going to end this episode. So if you did enjoy, feel free to leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new and remember you're awesome. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's TRS, all oh, the real smoky here. And in today's video, we are concluding with our Fable 2 playthrough. So, it is the finale. We'll be taking down Lucian a day, but first we should start talk to Reva. You're back! My men are positively buzzing with interest. Who is this person, they ask? Have heroes come back to Albion and blah 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 and so on and so forth and I really don't care. You see, while you were out making your name a, ho a hovel hold word, I discovered that you recently walked right out of Lucian's spire. So, unless I miss my guess, and incidentally I never miss, you want me to help you waltz back in there and take him down. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting. Who knows what lovelies he has secreted away in there? But here's the problem. You've done all sorts of impressive things, and yet you haven't really done anything that benefits me. But wait, perhaps there is something you can do for me. There's a certain item I need returned to its rightful owners in Wraithmark. They live in an enchanting place called the Shadow Court. I do it myself, but my relationship with the owners is complicated. And while my associates here have their uses, most aren't terribly reliable. So, how about this? You run this little errand for me, and then I'll assist you in your quest for vengeance or, or riches or whatever it is that floats your particular boat. The item I need returned is just there. See? See? See that little objet da? There's a good lad. Just come back and see me when you've dropped it off at the Shadow Court. Tappy bye. So, like Trini just said in 
the previous episode, there was a man that burned Oakfield to the ground, essentially, from the shadow court. Uh, it was using and abusing the shadow. There is a deep like well in the centre of Wraith Marsh, made of tombs. That is where they reside. Be careful. There is more to this task but, than Reva lets on. So he's essentially the one that burnt down the hometown of the hero from the uh, first game. So he's the one that burnt down your legacy, essentially. But obviously we don't know that as so many years have passed. So obviously because we're in Wraith Mask, uh, we got a, a bank Banshee again. But Banshee's aren't that too difficult, they're just tank consuming. Obviously this one's just one shot away from being dead. Apparently it didn't register to hit them all, which is a pain in the back side, and the hollow men that spawn are now attacking me. It got, it got me down to half health because I got surprised by him. It's to the right here, as you saw it in earlier episodes. Pretty much in here you've got a choice to make which will affect your hero uh, in one way or another uh, um, the shadow court as you can hear you can hear a woman crying the, a woman that Reba somehow got down here, but how did a woman get down here if the shadow creatures? Well, it's a shadow creature, it's a shadow hobs. I just thought I'd go through here because it just looked uh, ominous. Money, which don't mean a shit, don't mean the sweet FA at this point. Like I said, this is the so I might as well open this chest because it's there. But yeah, cause this is the finale, so anything I really find during the episode ain't really gonna mean anything really so I'm gonna get attacked by more shadow hobs it's like shadow bandits now with hobs but there's not many shots in all there there's like two shots and now Shadow Balmering. Dangles in this room aren't right good for viewing. Bring down the hammer. Bothering there's still a pin in the back side when you're fighting up close. Find the Dark Shell owner in Red Mass. So jump down this hole that I almost jumped over, not jumped down, and there's the woman that you can hear around. Some friends, we were reading from this really 
old book we found. It had all these strange words. Then there was this bright light, and I, I woke up here. Where are we? I'm so scared. I, I just want to go home. Shut up, you guys. Well, the shadow coat. Welcome. Welcome. One of you carries the dark seal. But there are two. Only one is required. One will trade the middle one I look like a figurine of a so tree there no banners may retain his. this is the bargain we honor the rules cannot be broken we will take whoever bears the dark seal you must choose choose quickly, quickly. I think you have like 30 Please, seconds to choose. I just want to see my parents I'm just going to give it to her because I don't want to be young. What Let's force it on her. You, you can't do this. Please. Don't. Please. It's pretty much the good choice is you keep it and you end up aging and turn into an old man essentially. Or you can give it to her and she'll turn into an old oh. woman. But she still loves me, apparently. What? What? What happened to me? Plus 50 evil, well, which isn't too bad in no fairness. Good, good and evil really don't matter at this point. But when the sacrifices stop, we will come for you. This this knows. That was a difficult decision, but you are alive and strong, and that is what matters most. Go back to Riva. Cause look, uh, Teresa don't get, don't care that you made a bad choice. So I don't actually have a quest to go back to Riva, but so I can manually select a region to go back. Obviously, with Reaver being the way Reaver is, I imagine the way the game is, you could be technically foresee it coming. Reva, your path leads straight to Lucian. There will be no going back. Which is why the game if saved you have right left anything here. Unfinished, now is your last opportunity to resolve it. We're done. And you're sure that it'll look like new? Exactly like you, sir. In three months, the picture will be developerized and... Three months? Three months. <laughs> That's no good. And looking as youthful and spirited as ever. Aren't you a tricky one? Good for you. You have my eternal thanks for delivering that troublesome seal. Now, I have a confession to make. While you were away, it occurred to me that Lucian is probably a bit miffed that you wandered off without his permission. Maybe miffed enough to part with a large heap of gold to get you back. And you know what? I was right. So... As fun as all this has been, I'm afraid I must now return you to the spire. Lucian's men will be here at any moment. <laughs> all right, what Reaver the was snake. That? Reaver, the city's under attack by a bloody army. Lucian's men, dozens of the buggers. And the guy in charge is yelling at his men, find this Reaver. Me? Lucian and I had a gentleman's agreement. 
How dare he betray me? And just when I was in the middle of trying to betray you! How inconvenient. Convenient. I recommend we flee down this rather handy escape tunnel. A leopard never changes its spots, I suppose. Smugglers built these tunnels ages ago. I don't think they've been used for about 300 years. So we've got to help Reaver escape even though they try to betray oh, us. No, wait a minute now. I came through here in... That's right, I was consorting with Ursula at the time and Penelope found out that she set the house on fire while I was sleeping. Hmm. Can it do a good enough job? The looting sends a dozen henchmen. Better to take them out of range because obviously there is a, a lot of them. Even though technically you don't have to fight them, um, you can just run through. There were a chest up there, but the chest is kind of pointless. They did send the commandant down here to help. The commandants really don't have much to them anymore. The normal henchmen takes part when he hits it, the commandant's dead. And Reaver, like every other NPC in this game, don't really help you much. Even though he does have a, a massive point lock pistol. So if I had up a high level spell, let him come close to me, just burn the three of them. I apparently set the explosions off up top. So obviously when you're in combat you can't really run, it makes you roll a lot. One handsman at a time. What is this? Like an action movie? Beauty. Dragon stop her so they're the ones that I ran past earlier that are still following us. Wow, you've killed four of the enemies. I did kill three in, I've killed three in one hit. Yeah, good Reaver. Why do I need this guy to help that Lucian down? So there's this ship that Reaver planned on using to escape. Obviously there's still a few henchmen down here that are all, uh, you know, one shot. And this isn't even the greatest rifle either. I know there is some that do more damage. So we do we meet up with Garth and Hammer? Good to see you again. Hope we didn't miss too much. Sounded like a massacre. Are all the soldiers gone? Far away, I hope. Most of them. I don't know how much more killing I can stand. Galvarines and bandits behind every rock and tree. 
and everyone I kill, two more take its place. <laughs> Quite fascinating. I'm I'm touched. I'm also leaving. Oh yes. Three, two, one. One boom. And any other lurking nasties in the tunnel will now have a bit of a headache. Which means I've just saved us all. Aren't I nice? Not in a few really moments, I'm sailing away to safety on my escape ship. So, the way I see it, we're even. Toodaloo! Not this fire piece, eh? So I just thought I'd heal the dog, the aging did. This is pretty much the final boss oh, of the no. game. Right. Well, plan B. The great shard. Hammer out a user hammer. We were the right weakling. One henchman putting down. The right spell is called Lightning Gap. Yeah. This is definitely already. There must be a way. Nothing seems to work. Unless. So the dog is injured again, so I heal it again. It won't let me, you know, lock on over my level 5 spell, which is a pain in the back side. The uh, AoE attack from the shard don't make all that too much sense. It's like it does damage and then it lingers for a little bit, even though it doesn't look like it should be lingering. Shots on it at a time. Three at most. The immune frame of when an enemy spawns is a nine. Essentially, it's the hardest boss fight in the game, which just really shows you. The boss fights in the first game were a hell of a lot better. We did it! Now that's teamwork. Yes, such fun! And with that, I'm off. Bye. No, you're not, Reva. You can't leave now. We need you! Welcome, Reva. Uh, delighted to be here, uh, whoever you are. But, as I was saying before the 
enormous. She's like the only one in the game that's technically older than uh, Reva. Listen to me. If the you do not again, Lucian will control the world and every person in it. Well, he's welcome to them. People are a bit overrated, don't you find? Yeah. And who will you sacrifice to the King of Shadows? Very well. All right, yes, I will hmm. help you. And after that, there's a good chance I will kill you. But uh, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hmm? So, we can't go for either. We must gather at the Circle of Heroes. The ritual we will perform there shall provide us with the weapon we need to defeat Lucian. Oh, goodness, sounds like a barrel sounds of Sounds like a barrel of laughs. Lions, eh? Mm. I would have preferred mute. <laughs> I'd have preferred a hero of skill that isn't a slime bomb, but you know. Burger Cap Jews and Sissy Hmm. You are loved by enough people. You can see Teresa teapot in them as well. What exactly does Lucian want? Aside from godlike power? Hmm, that's a tough that's a one. one. No, 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 that kind of power is a means, not an end. What does he want to do? When I knew him, he wanted to resurrect his family. Probably still does. But give a beggar a million gold, he'll buy food until he's full. And then he realizes bread isn't the only thing for sale. Now we can begin. Stand in the center. You represent that which binds the three together. Strength, skill, and will. And together well. you will call forth the great weapon that will defeat Lucian. Step in circle, Reva. I know so you're a big greedy just of me. Do what exactly? Your thing. Give me the power that makes my character look like he's shitting himself. Make me the strongest being in the game. Bloody hell. Not that I'm not already. I agree. Well, I did enjoy making that pretty light with you, but with that done, what happens now? I don't know. We crossed beyond the far edge of my knowledge when he stepped into the center. Wait, where's Teresa? Well, this can't be good. Not one, not two, but I think like far yeah. greater chance than Lucian. Enough power to build a new world and you waste it trying to save the old one. You're... You're Lucian. Open your eyes, Lucian. The ruins of the old kingdom are all around us. And soon they will be buried under the new kingdom. And you're looking at the new king. Pretender. Your fall will be hard indeed. Um, deal well, still win. stands, Lord Lucian. That king. Lucian? <laughs> oh, Reva, will you shut it? In fact, you can have these people for free. And so I shall. And you as well. Where is she? Your fortune telling friend? What have you done to her? I merely listened. I should have gone out into the dark and found your body that night. But I was hasty. I let the bloodline flourish. The bloodline flourish. And you have flourished. Have flourished. Great dialogue. But this time is different. The last of the heroic blood will flow out onto this hilltop. Nah. Don't jump too low to even get in the way of that shot. It's just still a bit me. Misguided and weak. The last time I killed you, I killed you. it tore my heart, oh, out. my heart out. 
Of course, you're only a child. But then, so, so was I. I. Even though you're Death grown half man. Your destiny today, little sparrow. So obviously, this is where you become a child again. You can go out and do all the activities, or you can just go back to bed and proceed. Come on, little sparrow, wake up! And I'm just gonna take the quick way out and Mom proceed. Mum and Dad's gone out. You've missed saying goodbye. Come on, get up. It's beautiful outside. It's nothing, little sparrow. Go back to sleep. So we did end the day because just oh, went back on. to bed back and to ended bed. it quick. There's nothing fun to do here now. So now you've just got to escape going? the farm essentially. <laughs> this is the idea of a perfect Are you mad? childhood. It's dangerous out there. Don't go. You got to follow the music, which if you. Uh, no! Familiar with the game, you see all the people burning in the old kingdom ruins that are in this dream. People on pikes and everything. And there's the magic box from the beginning of the game that magically disappeared. If only we could live there. Perhaps I could do it. No! For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Can you feel the power coursing through me? This is pretty much showing your character to progress through the game. A classic performance that will be remembered for all time. Or at least as long as there are people around to remember it. And you will make an excellent soldier. Dismissed. The rules cannot be broken. We will take whoever bears the dark seed. And looking as youthful and spirited as ever. Aren't you a tricky one? <laughs> so they didn't, in didn't include any dialogue from Garfield. The last time I killed you, it tore my heart out. Of course you were only a child. You have passed the test. Your rewards are the opportunity to confront your enemy and the means to destroy him. Take the box and go to him. So you technically had to die to be able to retrieve the box. So it was like death was a part of Teresa's plan for you to destroy Lucian. walk into the white light. Your power is astounding. Twice you've cheated death. Yet your abilities are trivial compared to the infinite power of the spire, which will soon be mine. Now, sleep. What? What is that? The music box that we told you about in the <laughs> beginning. A mere trinket will save you. Do you think anything can? Stop. Yeah. Think about Working. what you're doing. I will put an end to chaos. 
Stop now, you fool! What the? You insect! I order you to stop! I ain't no henchman. Any male of a person would fall asleep due to the magical effects that he possesses. But me personally, no I won't. Do you consider that a victory? You're merely delaying the inevitable. So you can't hit him with melee, so you have to shoot him. And that's why it's disappointing by no boss. Lucian's dead. So to what now? What happens now? Now, in comes Theresa. It is time you gained your reward, your gift for saving the world from a madman's selfish dream. The spire has awakened, and it still has the power to grant one wish, yours. Come, take my hand. Take my hand. It's all right, little sparrow. Don't be afraid. You stand in the heart of the spire, as the Archon of the Old Kingdom did. Thousands of years ago. Now it is your turn. Make a wish, but choose wisely, for it will affect all of Albion. Sacrifice. You may choose to revive all those who died in the spire's making. It is a selfless gift. Your only reward will be the gratitude of Albion. Love. So that's the good ending. Those dearest to you, even your faithful dog, will be restored to life. That but is their lives yeah. come at the cost of the countless innocents who died in building this selfish wish. All well. More uh, than you can imagine. Just to a spend greedy on whatever one. pleases you. So you've got good, but any you selfless love, are evil. And all the spire's prisoners will remain dead, and will not witness your newfound affluence. What will you choose? I am going to choose the good ending. Because that's the end things are pretty much done for Sabine. all the games is the good endings. So obviously we banished Jack in the first one. Uh just got rid of his evil from the world. This one we brought back everyone everyone back to life after destroying the spire essentially. All those who have lost family and friends to the Spire have had their loved ones returned to them, confused but unharmed. Soon all Albion will be filled with gratitude and praise the name of this great and selfless hero forever, and they will know what you gave up for their sake. We heard everything. Yeah, I gave up a million yes. gold, that's A wish right. was made, and the world will bear its consequences. When my father died, it was awful. I can hardly bear thinking about it. To sacrifice him myself? No. I don't know what to say. That's the last thing I expected of you. You've done a lot of questionable things. But that was very noble. I've done a lot of questionable things. Yes, yes, more important matters. What about me? What do I get? Cash would be nice. That is up to you. I can send you anywhere from here. What do you wish? I wish to return home to Samarkand. Oh, I have been to Samarkand. Hot nights, exotic substances, and uninhibited people. It's nothing like that. Trust me, I'll find the exciting bits. Fine, but stay out of my way. Hammer? No, I'm done. I know why we got attacked in the cave the day we met. You brought those hollow men in with you. Two monks would have found nothing, but a warrior finds battle always. I want to go north, study with those warrior monks. I was so sick of avoiding violence. Now I'm sick of causing it. <laughs> Goodbye, hero. I simply can't thank you enough for dragging me into this mess. Oh, I should tell you, I do have to make the occasional sojourn back to Albion. I have 
and obligations from friends in Rake Marsh. Okay, you got sacked by more people. I had my doubts about you at young. first, but I'm glad we met, and we shall meet again. You can count on it. I don't think you ever do meet him it's again, even if you do you. what they'll say. Not like I can do anything about it. You did some amazing things. Shame about all the rotten stuff. I guess this will be our last goodbye. Take care of yourself. We didn't really do all bad that Hammer Farewell, would know Hammer. about, in all fairness. Any evil I did were in this fire. And now it is time for you to leave. The world is yours to enjoy. But the spire is mine. Is mine. Be gone. So, I'm not going to be doing the DLC because the DLC in this game is kind of meh. So, if you have enjoyed this series, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and until the next video, just remember you're awesome and peace.